Stream crashed yesterday, but I was midway through being hit by an Enderman, but I have some good news for you. The Enderman didn't hit me long enough to cause any issues. Anyway, and, and as you're hopefully about to see, <laughs> last I checked that was true. Anyway, today I am on a quest. I want to get every single armor trim in Minecraft, but I don't just want one copy, because what are you going to do with one armor trim? I need four copies of every single trim, so I can make a full set of armor showcasing them all. This will be really useful for showing the differences between texture packs and whatnot, and so that is precisely why I want it. And although we're going to be starting today's, uh, oh, I gotta get used to, uh, <laughs> gotta get used to this, um, uh, the, uh, although we're gonna be starting today's stream in the end, we're gonna be ending today's stream uh, somewhere a lot very different because we're going looking for trail ruins trying to find as many as I can So um, yeah, this is still a project. I want to work on I need to get a bunch of pink dye I think I'm gonna go to a cherry grove and I'm gonna do stuff But for now uh, come look at my beautiful cherry groves that I made yesterday. Look, it's a heart-shaped biome What's not to love that look? It's literally a heart shape and it's a cherry grove, but um, yeah for now Let's go back to the home uh, I guess we're flying there, and uh, let's go to the overworld, specifically looking for trail ruins. I have a very, very particular pathway I'm searching for 1.19 blocks on, and uh, I wish I brought a boat with me now, actually. You know what, I guess... <laughs> Do you want to see something kind of scary? Let's just, like, roam a little right, roam a little left. But yeah, let's head all the way over back to the main... Uh, to, back to the overworld. So, I, um, basically, I, I, had a, I had a few stream issues yesterday with crashes, and I believe... I fix those by actually coming back to the Xbox version of the game. Mostly because when you're playing on a realm anyway, it doesn't matter what platform you're playing on. You get the same really low performance anyway. Like, look, I can see the glass maybe like, I don't know, 100 something blocks out. I think it's 160 precisely. So I can only just now, 250 blocks away, see my end. And given that that's the same on every platform, I figured why not use the Xbox to see if it offs, like reduces the load on my PC. Don't know if that's going to be true. Have no clue. Uh, but let's work it out anyway. So thank you, CC2510, for re-becoming a channel member. Um, and uh, let's... Uh, I always Six months, by the way. Appreciate a lot. The uh, uh, you, you know, our member goal is one of those things that I'm, like, very, very, very uh, big on. Because it is one of the reliable sources of income. So I'd like to put, see people hit the big milestones. Really cool. You also get a nice little recognition badge next to your name. Hopefully you like that. It's gold for you now. Um, also, my final A-level exams Tuesday, and yeah, I'm here watching Toy Cat streams. You know, okay, what what subject is your A-level in? Let's, um, uh, a level is like the final exam in the UK, like, uh, for, I believe, where you transition from, like, the end of, like, sixth form to university. Um, Coral Kitty, hey, Toy Cat, I just wanted to let you know I changed my username, in case you don't recognize me, I'm Logan555YT. Nice username. But, um, is this, is this, is this, is this look fine to everyone? Is it just me? Okay. It could be that the video I'm watching looks different to the one. Does this look quiet in chat? Does this look like I'm playing Minecraft? <laughs> I'm, I'm a little bit uh, cautious. Anyway, so um, I uh, I'm now going to uh, go. So the bamboo blocks look like cactus. Honestly, they really do. Oh, I should totally take advantage of that. I should place a bunch of bamboo blocks in my end on the desert, right? Should we bring a camel over there too? I think that's a great idea. Um. So, uh, yeah, thank you very much, by the way, Wise Enderman, for the tip. I, uh, a $5 tip. I appreciate it a lot. Thank you for being the newest member on the channel. Uh, do you, I hope you're feeling desert well today. So we're at 473 now. Nice. So, um, I think I left all the shulker boxes there, by the way. Which is a big problem, because I have all this stuff that needs to go on them. Um, that'll be fine, right? As long as I remember. Yeah, I'll just put, I'll put all the, all the pink blocks in this one place. And then as long as I remember they're all in there, it'll all be fine. So this is for that one project. Now, chat, you have to remind me to come back to it, or we're never gonna we're never gonna get anything done. But uh now we're going specifically overworld hunting. And I'm gonna need a whole new shulker box for that. Um do I have one lying around? Please tell me this isn't full with okay, it's full. So I think um I do have a whole new shulker box sitting around here somewhere. I guess we could just use this one and then mix in our uh, is this one free? This is... Oh, what is what is happening in this shulker box? There's there's a lot going on here. Um, so we're going to grab a whole shulker box. And we're going to take it with us. So this one's filled with glass. We just move the glass into another box. And then we could take it maybe. You know, we don't need a shulker box. Where we're going, we'll be just fine with the space in this one. Or my torch box or something. Or in this one. Yeah, this, this is only mostly full, right? So 
we're gonna what we're gonna do is we're gonna sort through it and we're gonna take out the messiest stuff and then just put in the new things we find so deep slate obviously don't need coal uh, soul sand all good and uh, bamboo planks and whatnot we, we could take all this stuff out too I do have a growing collection of skulk stuff that I guess we're gonna work on if you haven't seen it by the way I, I like my skulk collection it's it's growing it's getting there as you can see this is how I keep the skulk well uh, designated Mystical Cucumbers, Skull Catalysts, and Skulk Sensors. Then the Deep Slate goes just on the left over here. Is this Deep Slate? Yes, it is, but it's full. <laughs> so we go over here. Neverite Booze. Neverite Booze. Neverite Booze you. Okay, so, um, yeah, this is uh, a little bit of a different stream setup today, so hopefully everything's fine. Uh, but I, I, I think hopefully it results in less stream crashes. I, I, I do a lot of, like, semi-technical support on these streams, right? But I think... Um, that's, 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 that's something that hopefully results in the viewing experience being improved. So now we're going to just make some, we need some paper for my, sh my gunpowder. I need to put away some black wool and then I can probably just make some sticks and call that. Okay. So do I have my brush? Is it ready? Yes, we are. So here's the thing. Now I'm ready to explore. I've got free inventory spaces. Wait, technically speaking, we're not ready to explore. And so we go to bed. There we go. So now, wait, go go for a nice nap. Sleeping's important. You ever think to yourself, wow, I sure am tired. I can't do this thing that I need to do. That's because you're tired. <laughs> you know, the reason you're tired is because you're tired. And you know how you can be less tired? By taking a nap. So we're going to grab ourselves a bed. I think a brown bed will be just fine for this one. Um, we're gonna grab ourselves some sugar, and we're gonna go on an expedition to find trail ruins. So, um, yeah, a few people have been asking me how to find trail ruins, and I guess this can function as, like, a mini-tutorial. Because, ultimately, the best ways to find these things are always found a little bit later on. Because, right now, the only advice you can give for finding trail ruins is go to the very particular biomes they spawn in. You can find them in jungles. Oh, Did my face lack there, chat? Uh, let me know. I wanna... I'm, I'm doing some testing, I guess. Um, but yeah, we're going to make some fireworks. We'll have to go get some more sugarcane. It did? That was weird, huh? <laughs> uh, very weird. I'm, again, un 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 unexpected. Everything's a little bit surprising to me because I'm watching my own stream face lag. Has, does my face usually lag or is that is that a new thing? Is that... <laughs> I'm a little bit confused. Um, mostly seen them in spruce areas. Yeah, spruce is definitely the go-to. Jungle is fine, and then, uh, obviously you can find them in, like, uh, the... I guess ti you can find them in, like, a snowy tiger, too. But yeah, that's that's what we've got to do, basically. So we've got our shulker box. You're going to need a lot of space for this. This is, honestly, this is the fun thing about archaeology. It kind of works early game, but also it can be a late game way just to collect some fun stuff. Um, and now here's the thing. I could just go walking out and trying to find a tiger biome. I'd find one pretty quickly because there's one just over there. Wait, do you want to see it? Sorry, I'm I'm really proud of my tiger biome because in Q&A Saturday I made it just a little bit prettier. Isn't that nice? You can barely see it, but yeah. You can walk for a tiger biome all you like, but it has to be a brand new tiger biome. That's right, can't be a tiger biome you've explored before. And so let's go for our nether portal. <laughs> this is my favorite thing. And oh god, we're going through. Let's go through the nether portal. And let's... uh. Ah, there we go. In the never we be. And now we're in the never. Uh, let's go to a brand new part of the world. So, um, yeah, today is going to be all about um, marking a new part of the world also. Because it's really important to know as a Minecraft player when and when you explored each part of the world. So, if you explored a world before 1.19, you won't have mangrove swamps. If you explore the world after 1.19, you will. If you explore the world before 1.20, you won't have any trail ruins, and your desert wells will be sad and lonely. Um, and if you use them afterwards, then the opposite. Anyway, so that's uh, that's going to be the big thing. Also, hi, Tokat. Yesterday, I fell in the void and lost all my Neverite armor and tools in my world. I was very sad. I thought I had my Elytra on. <laughs> I feel that. That has happened. Exa that exact thing has happened to me. And, uh, yeah, I think... It's an absolute tragedy. I'm going to pour my, my drink in a cup now, by the way. See, look at this. Multitasking. People say the roads in Minecraft are silly. Like, why do you need to walk in a straight line? It's so you can pour your 7-Up free. That's right. I paid nothing for this beverage. You can put it in your little cup. And, oh, it's still... Can you see that? The little bubbles of air coming out of it? You can't. 
it's fun. It's very carbonated, clearly. But yeah, I um, I no, no wacky mug today. Says uh, Ellie as hell. You know, El I the name L El Ellie is just it's too much for me. I I knew someone called Ellie that was that was spelt like E L L L E. Why is the E there? Why is it sitting there silently, taunting us all? Um, anyway, so we're gonna go over here. Actually, you know what? Just over to the west somewhere. I think just past this Never Fortress. Maybe like 200 blocks just past it. And if I'm not mistaken, somewhere over here is where I made... Oh gosh, I think I am mistaken. <laughs> yep, I am definitely mistaken. But um, somewhere around here... Okay, this is why you need a lot of firework. Okay, I'm fine. I'm fine. Everything is okay. Don't you worry about me. Okay, so yeah, here it is. As you can see, I, I made track. I, I kept track of where my uh, where my, my where my cherry grove was. So I could always come back. And this is how I made note of it. I built these beautiful, beautiful little things. <laughs> Do you like this chat? I, I, I'm pretty, fr I, I, I like this one a lot. I, I think it's so stupid that it's charming. And if you don't think it's so stupid, it's charming. I think you're so stupid, you're charming. Um, but, uh, yeah, I, uh, <laughs> I think I might make this whole area, like, a little, uh, Cherry Groverfied. I think that'd be, I think that'd be a good idea. But yeah, for now, uh, this is definitely, here's how we can confirm. Ugh, why am I in a cave? I forgot that it put me in a cave. What a terrible, terrible outcome. So let's just break this, and then let's go. Okay, so here's what you do when a never portal is in a place you don't like. Um, this this rarely works as mu as well as you'd like, by the way. It it often has unintended consequences, and not the good type of unintended consequences. But um, yeah, let's uh, place a, little, a couple of torches up here, just to keep the place nice and insulated. Also, um, I uh, thank you, thank you, cat. Stupid and charming tips. That's right. If you're if you're stupid but charming, you know, <laughs> you know where you should tip. You know, this is my new strategy: insult insult viewers and see if that makes them want to support you. You know, um, it seems like a real good idea to me. So I'm hoping that by this super tool never portal will be the logical one that it connects me to. So we go through. Where do I end up? I end up over here, and then we go back through it one more time. And where do we end up? Yeah, thanks for those enchanting tips, uh, Toy Cat. I'm glad you liked it. I, um... Hey, it actually worked! I, w I was so sure that would not. Whoa, I've never actually linked Never Portals correctly. Wait, chat. Chat. This... This is a momentous occasion. Do we have a... Do we have a bottle of champagne anywhere? I tried to link Never Portals in Minecraft Bedrock, and it worked. The portals... Y linking them... They didn't spawn me somewhere else. They didn't say, oh, do you want to be above the ocean or in the sky? It just worked. What is, th am I playing Java? Am I, did I boot up the wrong version of Minecraft console? Is, uh, am I, oh God, face cam lag. Um, that is weird. Does that happen a lot? Is it just happening today? I, I'm, you know, I'm wondering now. Um, I hate portal linking because it can uh, link you an equivalent eight times as far in the never. Yeah, I, it's never worked. <laughs> What the heck? I've never, I've never just, whenever, it, when a portal decides to link in Minecraft Bedrock, it is stuck that way till the end of time. If you try to fix it, it just breaks it more. The more you break, the, the more you fix it, the worse it gets. You, you, you might not think that's true, but trust me, it is. It worked. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go again. It's gonna break on the other side now. That's my theory. But maybe. Maybe. You just have all the good luck you'll have for today. <laughs> you know, that's a bad sign. Uh, that's a real bad sign. But it's worth it. Look at this. Wait. Where are we now? Where are we? Oh! It works! Oh my god! That's impossible! We should turn this into a cherry tree, by the way. Sorry, this is, this is kind of unrelated to archaeology, but I think you'll find it's incredibly important, you know? <laughs> so we're gonna grab our shears, and we're gonna, um... We're gonna quickly just go over here. Oh, there we go. Nice. Pick up some cherry leaves that just happen to be chilling around. And then we'll decorate our portal like it's a cherry tree. I think that's a, an absolute must of an idea right now. I didn't bring any uh, magma, magma with me either. So we could probably look through the portal and confirm. But yeah, now now we'll be able to like 
show. I guess you we should make this look nevery rather than overworldy, but we'll just place some some of these. <laughs> yep, looking good to me. This is what this is what a cherry tree would look like. <laughs> yeah, this is this is good. This is anyone's definition of good. Definitely definitely going beautifully. You never invested in respiration for either. I think I've said before, I, I, I worked it out. The the reason that I don't um I don't use respiration free is because I don't want it looking in videos like the only reason I can go underwater is because I have that. I know how like um there are some Minecraft activities that are like oh, if you do that it'll be painful. Um and one of those is genuinely just going underwater. So I think okay, we'll put a little Neverack block of over here maybe. And there we go. Look, it's my ch <laughs> Isn't that honestly that looked better than I was assuming it would. Nice. Big fan. Um, okay, so now we're gonna go look for trail of ruins. So here's the deal. I explore my world in a straight line going to the left or right of the main center. So I'm going this way. I could mark that with like some cherry wood or something, but I don't have any cherry wood. We'll see what we do have to mark that with. So we've got some bamboo. We've got three blocks of bamboo. Um, so we're gonna use those to make an arrow. How do you make an arrow with three blocks? Um, we just like put three down like that, maybe. And then we'll take these free trap doors, because they don't need to exist anymore. And we we'll use them to make the base of the arrow. Oh, there you go. <laughs> this is the way you go for 1.20 stuff. That hopefully is a symbol future me can work out. If it's not, then no harm. And uh, we're gonna go to sleep right now. Maybe, you know, maybe enjoy the sunset together. Honestly, sometimes we're so busy focusing in life about the small little details that we, uh, also what's the world size, says Propanus. I think I might give an update for that in my, uh, I want to do a video soon about all the broken things in my world. The, um, a lot of people ask for it during the Minecraft developer stream, and the, even the Minecraft guy was like, how does this world exist? <laughs> so I think it might be fun to show that off. So here's the sunset. The sun gets smaller, as happens in the real world. We get another pillager aid. <sighs> I guess we're going to go to the end with it. I guess we're just going to go to the end with it. If that has to happen, that has to happen. Um, okay, nice. Um, okay, you know what? Uh, Cat is not only uh, here to help m chat be controllable, but also is a great source of my idea I have in the moment, and I'm like, I'll totally not forget this, and I totally will. I think I should, uh, I should try and get camels out to my end, and then fight a raid out there of my new pillager raid thing. It might be fun. Anyway, so let's go to sleep now. By the way, look at this. I've got a mending brush, so it's now... Oh, I figured it'd go back to full. It did! Yeah, perfect. So I've got my brush. I've got my 1.20 terrain. I've even got an unnecessary pillager banner. Let's go and find some trail ruins. The higher your render distance, the easier you'll find stuff like this. The lower your render distance, the more you'll feel pain. But <laughs> that's okay. Um, I also think it'd be more fun to use a pink boat. Uh, you know what? It would be more fun to use a pink boat. Look at look at my priorities. They're all in order here. What's the point of going? So I've got. I destroyed this whole strip of uh, cherry grove biome, but I have this tiny bit left over here, which is handy because I can take a few of the blocks. We'll take the corners. We'll we'll make the trees look like they're fine, just kind of a little rough around the edges. And now we can make ourselves a cherry boat. Also, um, Streamlabs Coral Kitty. Oh no. Okay. I, uh, someone said Streamlabs in chat. Yeah, so Streamlabs is the service that um, a lot of streamers, myself included, use uh, because it's a way that you can tip without the platform taking a huge fee. I think um, the the model that the internet just generally uses is like, yeah, if you want to exist on the internet, uh, you know, like the, the biggest platforms, the YouTubes, the Googles, the Ubers or whatever, they make their money by just being a middleman and then taking a 30% cut. This is this is the way you get rich in the world. You let other people do work and then you take a small percentage off it. Or if you're a government, a large percentage off it. And um, okay, so we're gonna make a shovel. We can make two shovels and then we can make two boats. You know, I'll treat myself to two boats. Sure, I'm worth it. Ooh, this this pink boat is like so overly pink. It was just, you know, I I, I think it's the, it's the first time I've made one in a while and it just, Look at it, chat. Look at this boat. It is ridiculous. But let's go float it into the water, and let's go look for a tiger biome. Uh, how long until I find a tiger biome? God knows. Um, Cherry Grove biome, the prettiest in Minecraft. Totally agree. I would... 
I am very attracted to the cherry grow plan. Unrealistic, the crafting recipe should use five pink planks and two pink shovels. <laughs> you know, even five planks seems like too few, right? I think the recipe should use seven pink planks, two pink shovels. Um, you know, what, what else we got in this? You look at it a little closer and you can see there's actually, like this looks a lot more like a sign to me. So we should use some signposts in there. Maybe some slabs for the bottom. I think that would help the recipe greatly. Honestly, that, you know, that's, um, that'd be my argument as to why you, why five planks is the more logical one. Because you either go for ease of use or you go for realistic. And a realistic boat recipe would be like a nightmare. I can't forget the wood glue. So I'm going to go looking around this jungle because jungles do have trail ruins. Uh, they're slightly different in a tiger, but slightly better. If we find a jungle temple, I'm going to be very pleased. I really doubt I will. But um, yeah, this is the sort of thing that you're probably better off. Uh, if it's a small one like this, you're probably better off just doing a quick flyover. Um, in fact, you're probably better off in general doing a flyover if you have the fireworks, which we totally do today. So we get back on that. And we see that there is no trail ruins. Although, there is more jungle here. And this jungle has no trail ruins. I was wrong about something I said in a video recently, which is that trail ruins weren't visible from the top. They are visible from the top. Okay. Tell me, chat. I need to know. Was, was there a delay right there? Or was that fine for you? Was that a delay on the visual side of things? Um, if it is, I, I need to, like, set up a... There was a... You saw that? Okay, that's very interesting to me. I wonder what's causing that. Um, interesting. So yeah, we can all see the same. I wonder if that, that might be physically my Xbox, honestly. I wonder, no, if it's my webcam lagging, it's my PC. So if both lag, there's something running. Wait, one sec, let me just confirm. Um, nope, everything, everything looks fine. Uh, my, yeah, I've been having, uh, so the issues I've been having recently have been memory related. It's always memory related. I should just just buy new RAM clearly. Uh, or I. But anyway, um, we, 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 we're specifically looking uh, for free biomes if we want archaeology. That's the desert. Obviously, that's a big one. We're looking for the taiga and the uh, the jungle because that's for the the trail ruins, which we're mostly focusing on today. And uh, if we find any um, if we find any ocean ruins, you know, I could go for those. I swear, toy cats installed malware. <laughs> It's, um, as best I understand it, it is a, some combination of the devices that I have installed, like the USB something drivers, uh, cause it. Um, no chunk base, I assume? Yeah, I don't, I don't like to use chunk base for my Let's Play world. I think it is much more fun to discover it in person. It's, if only in part, because it helps you understand the world better from a human perspective. I think, I think chunk base is great if you really need something or the world is temporary. But I think um, it's one of those rules where I don't I don't even think it's cheating at all. I think you're perfectly given your rights to chunk base, and I pro I, I will chunk base if it's like a um, if it's like a challenge seed or something. Like why not? But I think in your own world, I think you will have a better time not doing so. Like sure, if I I, I could tell I I it's probably there's like 200 blocks that way. There's a trail ruin that I just don't know about, or 200 blocks that way. Um, but by going around like this, we're gonna. Kind of check over here, by the way. Uh, by going around like this, I think we sacrifice um, a little bit of efficiency or whatever. But we get some genuine exploration. Like, I, I think being surprised by your world as it generates is one of the fun things about Minecraft. Uh, but that's, again, it's one of those, like... I think you're cheating if you're going into other people's worlds and duplicating diamonds. I think you're, I think you're a you know, piece of garbage if you're doing that. I think if you ruin other people's fun... You can't argue like, oh, it's just a video game. It's like, oh, go ruin things by yourself. That's why we send people to prison. You should be sent to the video game version of prison. But, um, yeah, I think that if you're... So we're gonna, what we're going to do now is we're going to clearly conclude there's no tiger here. And we're going to fly upwards. I feel like for traversing oceans, we might need a riptide trident. Might do a better job for us. And we're going to fly this way. Oh, we're going to hit an invisible wall, apparently. That's fine. I don't need to see stuff anyway. Um, I guess we probably should be using boat at this point then. Let's let's get in a boat. <laughs> if it's an ocean anyway, we can use a boat. Oh, look at that. Ocean ruin. So uh, yeah, my archaeology is mostly going to be focused on trail ruins. But I, I feel like I shouldn't turn down... Wait, did I see an archaeology site? I'm like 70% sure I saw one here. 
And the number of... Okay, there we go. Drown, trident, drown, trident. Very, very chill, surprisingly. Do a little brushy brush. What have we gone there? We got wheat. What have we gone there? We got gold. I don't think I need either of those things. I think I have all of the pottery shards from the underground places, underwater places. Um, but I can't be too sure. So we're going back down in there. I, uh, I'm kind of used to running Minecraft on my PC. So I've got to open Minecraft again, but I don't. I can keep playing it even while I do things on my PC. Very handy. Oh god, there's an emerald in there, which I I shouldn't value the emerald this much. But you know what? I want to do some sus, sus digging. So let's do precisely that. And then what else do I see? Uh, prob There's probably another one in the inside, right? Yeah, I see, I see one there. Uh, how many pottery shards are there? It's funny. I... I, uh, I have a big thing about calling them pottery shards. I didn't really like the name pottery shards, but the fact that they're called pottery shards on Expo on a, on a, the uh, the bedrock version means we're just justified. It would be what are we gonna do? We're gonna call them something outside the game? Are we gonna call cook beef steak too? Imagine where the madness ends. Also, is that enchanted? Oh, I turned down my enchantment glint recently. I need to turn it. I turned it down for the video, right? I need to turn it back up. Um. Oh, it's at 75. Okay, we're great. That's a perfect normal space. And now I've got a trident, which I can throw at people that I don't care about. Or that I specifically don't like. That's the nice thing, isn't it? It's fun. You can hold it out ready while you're on a boat. Um, it's pottery shard for you because you're in UK English. Is that actually true? Wait, is it? Really? Interesting. <laughs> You know, why? Okay, so I've heard before that there are bugs that are only for UK English. I don't know if this is one of them. Oh, no. I don't want you guys to have a raid. Um, I should get out of here before it causes them a problem, I guess. Okay, sorry, fellas. I forgot about how the, the villager omen effect works. Not my problem, though. Kind of your guys's. You know, you should have been better prepared for that. It's on you, not on me. It's shirt in US English. Okay, you know what? I... On bedrock, it's shirt. Also, took out, please uh, enchant your home with respiration. Again, I, I really want to... I want to show people that you don't need respiration to do stuff underwater. And I also don't want to get used to it myself for the same reason. So, um, milk from the cows. But I didn't... I wanted to... You know, it's fine. Uh, cows, man, cows. You know, I'm fine. What's up with the render distance? <laughs> Why is it so slow? That's my biggest concern. I don't I don't mind that it's only 10 chunks, but give me my 10 chunks, Minecraft. Like, it's the least you can do. Um, it feels like I'm playing Minecraft on a laptop from 2006. Like, uh, it's like, oh yeah, if I just turn down the render distance to this little, I can just about play the game. It's very bizarre. Maybe archaeologists shouldn't have chosen such a silly name. Yeah, I... I don't... On the shard shard debate, I acknowledge shard is correct. But if I have an opportunity to call it a shard, I'm just gonna take it. I'm not gonna be one of those people who's like, Well, shard is better because in English... You know, because it is... It makes sense that we all call it a shard in real life. Like, if my... If my vase breaks into shards, you're not like, Oh, someone pick up the shards from the ground. I don't think you're like that, at least. You shouldn't be like that. Um, so, like, it, the, there's the English version on, on that argument. But, uh, I honestly, I'm just like, I call it a shard in real life, and I'm lazy. I don't want to learn a word just for Minecraft. I don't, I'm not going to do that for you, Minecraft. You can't convince me. I'm going to use my existing words, and it's a very... You know, some sometimes that's okay to have an argument that boils down to, eh. <laughs> I don't really know if I want to intellectually engage um, in this particular case. Also, um, Trident is very good, as you can see. This is this is the weapon of choice for people who don't have enchanted swords. And, uh, yeah, the fact that we're seeing so many mobs. By the way, I was hoping we'd have found a, uh, a jungle by now. I think, it actually, I've probably gone too far, but I think if I... If I, if I made a Nevfort and went back, I think I was... I had a jungle where I found my first pottery shard. It might be worth uh, going back for that. Intellectual engagement is overrated. It is. I think it is a thing that, like, 
it's really important to engage with some ideas uh, and try and move the world or even just your world forwards uh, on a on a high brain thinking level. But I also think it's important to say that like, okay, you cannot do everything. When you try to do everything, you fail. Uh, and so, you know, what? in the case of this one, pottery shards, fine. But also, I don't know. Talking about food in chat is dangerous. I bought some retrusive chicken today because someone said chicken. Oh man, I... They're so cheap. I don't understand. You know, I... I there's something there's something going on with the economics of being able to sell, sell a whole chicken for, for four pounds. I don't... Like, that's, that's, a, that's a whole bird. Even... Even just on the level of like, you couldn't buy a pet chicken for four pounds, right? How can you buy a dead one for four pounds that someone has like sanitized, safely shipped and all that? I don't understand. How does, I bet, I, I, if, I just don't understand any of that. Um, but yeah, I, um, because it's dead. Like you save, is it, is it worth less when it's dead? Why aren't the farmers just selling a bunch of alive chickens? Um, the cost of chickens mostly the processing. That raises more questions. Why can't I buy a two pound chicken? Um, I want to buy a chicken, honestly. I would love to have a chicken. Um, but yeah, I, uh, it's because they have the chickens in terrible overcrowded conditions. That doesn't ex- like, you know, I can- Imagine if I was like, yeah, I'll sell you a child for four pounds. You'd be like, really? And I'd be like, oh, don't worry, I already processed the meat, and it's like- You'd be like, wait a minute, how did you, like, it takes nine months to grow a child. And that, like, that, that's a lot of time. Even nine months to do anything is a long time, right? If I said I had a Minecraft project that was done in nine months, and you could, uh, you could pay just four pounds for it, you'd be like, wow, that's crazy. Um, so the money's made more by people buying other products in bulk. I, but that doesn't explain, <laughs> you know, it's a mystery. So don't question the chicken, they'll up the price. I think that's the case for a lot of groceries. We have them insanely cheap in the UK. And you're just like, how does that, how do they even? And then every time you say, how do they even, they raise the price. So they're like, wait, you pay us more? Because the very nature of like, uh, also I'm having a terrible time looking right now. Um, I'm just finding a lot of savannah. Okay, so we'll fly up and over, right? So this is a nice mountain. This is a very nice mountain. Don't get me wrong. I like them. Oh, okay. So, I know this is just the Frosty Peaks, but maybe on the other side. So weird how that's happening, huh? You're the effing man, dude. Come visit Nashville. Wait. Y'all, the effing man, do Come visit Nashville. It's the home of music, fried chicken, and Tennessee. Uh, well, I think y'all find that Tennessee is actually... Wait, Nashville is actually... A, uh, a beautiful state city in Tennessee. Well, I love my country. Oh, what the heck has happened here? Oh. Okay, so I've been here before, chat. I don't know how I've been particularly here before. It's an unexpected truth. So what we're going to do is we're going to fly to about 5,000 blocks. And we're going to check that way instead. I really need to go to sleep because the rain is giving me extra fog on top of my low render distance. But we're just looking for a spruce biome, or a jungle biome, or we'll take a desert. I'd like a desert, honestly. Oh! Cherry Grove! Wow. Okay, let's destroy this one too. I guess if we have to, chat, we're gonna, we're gonna stop what we're doing. We're gonna hop in here, and we're gonna do this stuff. As a Tennessee, and that's pretty good. Well, it's really funny, actually, you say that, Bruce Johnson. I was, uh, your, your picture does not look like a Bruce Johnson, but that's okay. Everyone's allowed to make a little make-believe on the internet. Um, but here's the wonderful thing. Uh, I'd like to mention Bruce Johnson. I was doing my southern accent. I like to do that when I get a little bit intoxicated in the UK. And uh, I went into a... Uh, I was uh, There was an actor in a bar, and he did a much better Georgian accent than me. He made my accent look like it was absolutely silly. And uh, he's uh, he taught me how to do the what? A little bit of poof whip or like a... What are you, you know, like, what? Wait, I can't do it. What are you doing over here? It's a little bit of a crazy way to say it. What, huh? Are you saying you're intoxicated, says uh, that chicken? Um, no, Sal, if, if I can switch back to my British accent, that's how you know I'm fine. Um, you know, the, uh, 
I, I haven't done a sub and accent only live stream in a while. Um, what's what's a sub and number chat? You know, we'll we'll make it a we'll make it a member go. What? Oh wait, what are you doing? I was practicing my sub and accent too. It's so heckin' fun. Eh, well, you see, I'm actually from the south of Russia. That mean wait, wait, I'm from Georgia, also known as Russia's South. You know, a lot of people think that Georgia's a backcountry hillbilly place, but actually I think you'll find that the birthplace of Russian president, oh, sorry, Soviet president, uh, Mr. Joseph Stalin himself, he was from this great state himself. Well, did you know that Georgia actually has one of the greatest, it was actually named after the patron saint of the England, uh, Mr. King George or St. George himself. What a wonderful whack that is. Wait, <laughs> I don't, I, I need to, I need to practice my, you know, like, uh, where are you going? I need to, I need to practice that a little bit, I think. Anyway, let's get back in a boat. We're going to be going a long way backwards across this ocean now. Because we've gone like a thousand blocks this way. Now we're going to be looking for new biomes. And I think worst case, I know where one, okay, so this is something. It's probably a savannah. Look at that. This world is so bizarre. It's just, it's too bizarre, honestly. Oh, wait, it's a jungle, right? If it's got vines, it's a jungle. Yeah, chat. Okay, we're here. This brings remorse. Wait, brings memories from the Texan stream. I think I should do a Georgian accent for an entire live stream. I haven't had a drop of alcohol in three days. I had a few days in a row where there were lots of socializing events to be done. And I maybe, maybe had to recover just a little bit. But I'm all good right now. <laughs> Someone accent has the H in front of the words that start with WH. What? I, I wonder why they do that. I wonder uh, what is going on in the southern states. Why do they feel the... <laughs> Just add that H sound to every word. Uh, but anyway, um, sorry, my southern accent, it's just too fun. It's, I have, I have so much fun while I'm doing it. It's a problem. Honestly, it is a big problem. So yeah, we're looking for trail ruins and, uh, Again, I'd love to tell you there's a good way. Right now, there's no decent way that's been found besides you look around. But while you're looking around the jungle, you might just find a jungle temple, which is pretty good. Um, so, what do we have over here? Lots of jungle. What do we have over here? More jungle. Will we find a trail of ruins? I actually think we will. Um, I have no basis for that claim. I just feel like with a jungle this big, we didn't find one, would be weird. Like, a jungle temple is one of those, like, you find it once every now and then, and you're like, oh, so good. In this world, I think we're fine. I do declare. <laughs> the world, you know, I do declare it's such a fun, such a fun part of the southern accent. Enjoy it just a little bit too much. Um, why do, why, why do our boats take so long to break in bedrock? Uh, I think they're one hit with a sword on Java. Yeah, you, you really damage your tools in the early game. Uh, for bedrock, I uh, it has to be said, really, really damage them. So I see a lot of green around here. I see a big hole in the ground. We're looking for like a big stack of terracotta. You're gonna find terracotta and suspicious gravel on the surface. That's how you know you're in the right place. Um, also, by the way, okay. So here's something fun. I found a use for all the gravel I've been generating, or all the flint I've been generating. It'll come up soon, I'm sure. But uh. You, you'll like... you. The archaeology is a new opportunity for me, is what I'm saying. And so I'm looking forward to uh, what we can do with it. But for now, we're looking specifically for any terracotta. Do you see any? Is this world different from your main one? Nope, same world. I'm just really far out. It's kind of fun. Like, uh, I, have a, I have a world that I've, you know, been playing and updating all this time. But the, the rest of the world does still exist. It's just I have to go, like, uh... It kind of is like I get to play Minecraft on different terrain settings. I can play Xbox One terrain, or I can play, you know, I, I, I kind of get to cho choose my own difficulty level. So one of the things I need to do is I need to do a big clear out and check for ocean monuments. Because uh, I, I found, I, I got a thousand sponges at one point, and I went to something like 13 or 14 different ocean monuments. Now it's worth going back into all those places to find more. Is that a cherry grove over there? It is, right? Wait. It could be more jungle, but I'm pretty sure it's, uh... What am I seeing? Are they... It's weird that you can't... Okay, so it's just regular trees. My bad. Um... 
but yeah, the uh, I, I kind of like if I look far enough away, I start to find stuff like this, and maybe some archaeological finds. If only you had a Riptide Trident right now. Hey, Blake, Blake Nering, thank you so much for becoming the 474th channel member. I hope you enjoy your stay in the coolest hat club. So here's a fun thing. There's a couple of new member-only videos out this week. One of them is the extended cut of my beating Minecraft using only 1.20 features. And the other one, maybe you'll enjoy, is um, Toy Cat yelling at Snifflets for... I don't know how many minutes it is, but it is a surprising number of minutes. Um, <laughs> it, I, I was surprised by how many minutes it was. I was like, really? Dear Har did, I, did I spend that much of my day yelling at the Snifflet? And Harrison was like, yes. Yes, you did. I'm poor, but I want a membership, says Aubrey the Girl. So, um, again, I'm not gonna... I think... Okay, so... Rather than being like, oh yeah, well... Something, something, money prioritization. I think, um... If you want to make, like, online purchases... Whether it be stream tips or whatever... You know, like... If you want a membership, but it's... it's one of the ways you can do that... Um, on Android and iOS is, like, you can... You can sign up for Google Play Rewards if you're an Android. It might also exist for iOS users. I I don't know what it'd be called there, but like a Google Opinion Rewards. And they'll give you credit for every survey you fill out. And then like after, you know, like I, I have a few pounds just sitting in there, um, which I use to buy. Like it's a way to buy like tra microtransactions in games and not feel like you're being, you know, like cheated or cheaped out. Also, in the jungle, a Minecraft jungle. Uh, in the jungle, a Minecraft jungle. A toy cat sleeps tonight, says Dasha. Wee! Yeah, that's that's what's happening. Um, so yeah, we are just kind of looking around here. Again, would be desperately surprised if there wasn't one here. But it is always possible. That's why I'd rather find a tiger biome. Would feel a little bit better. What if that was the next uh, music video, says Everett Lewis. You know, it's an idea I clearly have to consider. It's really, it's it's a real good idea. Also, um, good, 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 funny. I, I, I enjoy your joke there, Cat. Uh, someone asked if I have silence, and Cat said, "No, I'm actually quite loud." <laughs> you know, I have a problem with a lack of silence, Chat. What's what's? How do I solve that? By the way, I was um. So I've reset up my stream here. That's why my member text has gone from green to white. Should I set it back up to green? Do you like green, Chat? Um. We, I think we've gone through this entire biome and not found a single trail ruin. You know, we can go back to our previous one, but I really was sure we'd get one sooner than this. But, you know, this is Minecraft. We're only, you know, 10 minutes into the exploration. It is always crazy to spend 10 minutes and find nothing, but you can spend a lot more than this. So I'm going to stay optimistic, and I'm going to fly this way back towards the path, and we're going to see what we find over here. Oh no, we gotta remember, you can only fly so far before Minecraft demands that you get back in a boat. We're going too fast for Minecraft to, to give me the chunks. Okay, so we're gonna cherry boat down. And let's go. Um, 10 Minix finding a thing to be generous. Also, um, Toy Cat, would you be upset if I started telling you about uh, things about your world from Chunk Base? Because I know your seed. Yeah, I, 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 I think... Um, Ideally, like it's it's a thing that's like Technically anyone can just look it up, but I, I I prefer not to Like if I ever need something sure we can go do like I feel like um If I was missing an ancient city and I spent forever like uh, if I if I just spent hours looking for silence And not found an ancient city it'd be like should we just chunk base the ancient city because the hard bit isn't meant to be finding it Or it is meant to be to some extent finding it um but even then, I'm a big believer in, like, let's not, right? Let's, let's not. Let's do our very best not to have to. Um, because again, I genuinely don't know what's going to be in front of me at any point in time. And it's fun to, it, it's fun knowing that, like, somewhere over there is a jungle, I'm pretty sure. Where over there is it? God, if I know. So we're going to go this way around the island to get closer back to my main part. Um, I, uh... If a need, hit up Crack Magnet. Yeah, funny funny you say that. I've got a... Uh, crack Magnet found something absolutely incredible. I'm glad you can afford to increase your world size like that. Yeah, my world size right now... Um, 
It's, uh, we're, we're still doing pretty fine. We're, we're still below a gig. Um, travel runes usually spawn in jungles or tigers near the water. That is an observation that is true. I think checking the whole biome might be a little bit extreme there. Just gotta really look around the water areas. Yeah, they'll probably probably serve me best if I keep doing it. So again, what are you about to search of 1,000 by 1,000 jungle with nothing in it? No, yeah, exactly. Like, I... I think that is... If you... There's this fun thing, right? A lot of people will say, when they're raising questions about, like, why... Why shouldn't I just play creative? Why do I, Why am I toiling away in survival to do something pointless? Like, the... Why, why work hard on something when the game gives you an option not to work hard on the thing? Um, and the these, these simple answer to that question is like, when something is harder, it is more rewarding to complete. There's a reason, like, playing a video game is harder than sitting there like this. The mo the, if, fail if failure is the thing you're trying to avoid, just sit there and do nothing. You can never fail at doing nothing. Unless you start doing things, but it is fun to actually. So there is a there is a fun in sh in challenging yourself. Um, I think uh, a lot of people feel like when a challenge is too big, when a challenge is so overwhelming, you feel like you can't do it. That's not fun. Um, admittedly, that's true. You should try to avoid that. But um, you in I, I think I think everyone would agree that your um, that doing things that you can do that are just outside your layer of comfort, when you get it done, it feels the best. Failing teaches you what to do better next time. You know, something like that, but like less motivational. Yeah. So we're going to fly up and over this island now. So I don't want to go to the right. I want to go over here. Okay, so somewhere near here is where I found my first trail ruins. Um, so we're going to go back towards it. We're gonna see if we can find. This is a weird biome I'm flying through right now. Which is gonna go towards the ground. And oh, a meadow village. Fun. Oh, tiger. Perfect. See, okay, so this is the tiger we found our first trail runs in. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's just coincidentally here. Also, this is such a weird. Wait, look at this. This is a village that's generated around tiger. So the villages are all gonna be tiger boys. But wait, are they actually? I think I saw one back there. Yeah, they're all tiger villages, but the village itself? <laughs> He's stuck in snow, yes, snow. Are you gonna freeze to death? What do you reckon, chat? Is the villager gonna... He is. Okay, I'll save him. If you insist. There you go. Don't fall in it again. If you do, I'm not gonna save you. Just a warning. Anyway, you know, that was, that's my good deed for the day. Sometimes I like to free some puppies from the... I don't know, the, the puppy mill. And, um, no, let Darwinism do its trick. Yeah, this is such a weird village that it generated this way. And that there's such a tiny tiger biome right here. So none of this is really close to the water, so I wouldn't expect to find a trail ruins in this. But we'll give it a- we'll, we'll walk through it. We won't look for- okay. We'll, we won't look through the entire thing, of course. But we will look, uh, vaguely around. See what we can find. Try to avoid freezing, if we can. If we can't, that's fine. And yeah, okay, over here. What do we got? We got ourselves a big plains. So we want to head vague, closer towards the water. This has no real value to me. Rather, I would find a trail ruins. Hey, has anyone asked you how you are in a while? Says Elizzie. You know, no one has asked me how I'm doing. Everyone asks me what I'm doing quite regularly, actually. But no one ever asks how I'm doing, Elizzie. I think I think a lot of people do actually. Thank you to everyone who asks how I'm doing. You know, too many people ask me how I'm doing. <laughs> you know, I the biggest problem I have is that if too too few people are indifferent to my well-being. Hopefully, we can fix that. Oh, it's just such a problem. So many people care about how my life is going. You know how what a problem that is. Um. So um. Yeah, I'm gonna... <laughs> Someone says there's a trail ruins at negative 64,000, positive 31,000. You know, okay, that's our backup now. If it all turns to terrible. No, yeah, I, um... I think, uh, if you try to, like, give spoiler coordinates to my world, I'll even, yeah, I'd have to, you know, time you out or block you. 
Like, I think at that point it's fun. Going 100 miles per hour is only fun because we accelerate from 0 to 100. If we start at 100 miles per hour, it'd be a mundane. That's why survival is greater than creative, says Final Spoon. Yeah, and Final Spoon, I, I agree with you so much. Not only that, by the way, but to go a step further, uh, we're all moving at like 4,000 miles per hour right now because the Earth is spinning. But that is a very mundane thing. The miracle of waking up every morning is kind of dull because you haven't earned it. Whereas, you know, have you ever been sick for a while? Feeling okay feels so good after that. Does feeling okay feel great for you right now? Probably not. Also, Elaine Stacy says your hair looks nice today. You know what? Thank you. I get enough comments in my life saying negative things about my hair that I need someone, so I, I, need, I need people like you and uh, I will be good. So, um, yeah, let's, uh, let's head vaguely back towards this area. Oh gosh. <laughs> Okay, we're heading back down to where I found my first trail ruins. It wasn't that far from here. I vaguely recognize this area. I think it was in the roof forest, weirdly enough. It can't have been. It can't have been. Maybe it was. It was somewhere around here. You know, it should really have kept those coordinates up, if nothing else. But yeah, I think this, this tiger over here is a good bet for now. So, um, what are we going to find? Oh... We're going to find a whole birch forest. I like your hairs. The two thingies at the front, I want them. Thank you. I, uh, the trick is... Oh, wait, wait. I, I have been here because of my bamboo boat. This is where I found my first trail ruins. So as you can see, I've collected a bunch of stuff. Let's go collect a bunch more. I've got a lot of garbage. I picked up a potato in there and some some arrows and some string and just... Oh, there's there's a, lot of, a lot of nonsense that gets picked up. We don't really need any of it. And so we won't have any of it. So let's go to Craftable. Oh, I can make a boat chest. That's a fun idea. I think I might. I don't know what I'll put in the boat chest. But so this is my first trail of ruins. I didn't fully explore it, actually. So we'll make sure we go in there now. And we, we do precisely that. Let's find the last few blocks. Pick up some flint. Uh, is this not suspicious? It's not. Oh, see, look. There's a whole, whole bunch of blocks this way. Um, we're going to quickly go looking around this first one. Just to, just to keep myself... You know, on track. Motivated. What am I looking for? Looking for one of these. Um, again, find them around your world. Never that tricky. You just gotta believe. And if you believe hard enough, you might just find a pottery shard, or you might just find a pot. Hey, Alice Hell, thank you! You do, in fact, get a free highlight message uh, every every month if you want one. It is a uh, it's it's a thing you get. It's it's quite nice. Um, can you build a pink cat of cherry wood um, in the end? You know, good idea. I might. So, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna light this place up, like it is a, like it's a bonfire in here. Is that? Do you light up a bonfire? Yeah, you light up a bonfire. And uh, we're going to. Okay. Interesting. Interesting slowdowns. Also, whoa! There's so much flint around here. Oh, so much flint. Need to really go through and sort that out. So, um, so cat, um. You saw me on TikTok. Oh, that's fun. You're not totally worth it. I, I'm glad you did. I, uh, it's better to use a diamond shovel so you don't actually accidentally break suspicious gravel. Yeah, that's that's a funny thing. I, I, um, Minecraft doesn't have many of these moments, but there's a few times you want a weaker tool. Um, you know, the efficiency shovel seems like a real good idea, but what if you want a weaker shovel? You genuinely, you have a valid reason to actually feel that way. Um. But yeah, we're just we're just looking around here for tr we're, we're looking around here specifically for the armor trims. There are four armor trims found down here. If we can find them, that would be nice. If we can't find them, that would not be nice. We're gonna have to break a lot of blocks to do it. But that's okay. For now, that is an acceptable risk. Uh, see what's over here. Nothing's over here. This um. But yeah, this structure is a really really interesting one to me. Oh, I see. I, it, that water was from me earlier. So I need to break that block, then place this back, and then break it. And then it stays down. Perfect. Actually, now that that's staying down, we could break this too. Nice. And so, is there anything suspicious on that side of it? You seeing anything suspicious, chat? Give it a quick little brush, just in case. Nope, nothing suspicious. Now we can break through. And there's more gravel on this side. So we'll go to sleep real quick. 
It's always a good thing to sleep in archaeological remains that you find. That is the number one tip you receive from archaeologists. And then let's uh, let's give a little bit more of a dig. What's over here? Not much. What's over there? This looks suspicious, is it? No, it's not. It's such a... Honestly, archaeology is such a weird mechanic, specifically because, like, no other mechanic requires you to look at two similar blocks and say, this one I need to mine, and this one ruins my day if I mine it. Like, uh... It's a really fun idea. It's got fairly low consequences, it sounds like. You know, the actual consequences are low, but the imagined consequences are high. And I think that's kind of fun. So let's, um... Let's grab some torches first. And then let's make this box a prettier color. I don't want a pink box. Pink box implies to me cherry wood is inside. So we'll make this one light blue. Light blue because torches are light blue. And then we'll make the second box that has my, my, my stuff in. Yeah, the yellow box for loot. I'm going to dye white. See, look at me. Taking full advantage of the dyes I find around this place. If I find another dye, I'll dye my bed. <laughs> but yeah, let's go looking. Just with a little bit of light, preferably. Soul torches are um, light blue. There we go. Tor soul torches are light blue. Let's put one soul torch in the box and say that's the reason why. Love the idea. Sounds great to me. Um, that's uh, I uh, why are the random hearts coming from the screen? Says uh, your home giant. The the random heart thing is one of the weirdest bugs. Like, I think anytime someone taps it, you see them. Wait, chat. Everyone, right now. Okay, so there's a heart in the bottom right. Hit the party. Hit the party emote right now. I want to see if that is people... If you're watching this stream, just hit the party emote in the bottom right of chat. The... It's like a but. If everyone does that and it actually starts happening, you'll know that is people's reactions. Oh, it is! Okay. So yeah, they're there to... Um, they're there because YouTube... I, I think YouTube, like, especially small streams, maybe people don't want to chat as much. But you wouldn't mind just coming in and being like, you know what? I like what I see. I'll give it a quick heart. Is it only on mobile? I don't see it. I have it on my PC right here. Um, weirdly enough. I do have it. Also, look how many blocks we've mined without a single suspicious one. Anything suspicious? You seen? Have you seen anyone in this area who looks like he shouldn't be here? Like, we got, we got like a dodgy Dave around that maybe we need to be watching for. Because if we do, I would love to meet him. Any, any, any guys around here that are maybe spending a bit too long, long in, uh, in public spaces they shouldn't be in? Got anyone that looks like he's standing in a corner looking at his phone repeatedly? Someone riding around in circles on a bike, uh, looking like he's about to steal someone's phone. We got, we got anything like that? Because I, I'm just seeing a bunch of these blocks. So yeah, what we do some archaeology. Oh no, I broke one. Okay, so I can't be mad anymore because I broke one. There we go. So this one, we're not going to break. What we got? We got black stained glass. Oh, <laughs> oh it's red. It just, it, it comes out black. Um, interesting choice. And we break these blocks. And then these ones. And these ones. And then the dirt too. Why not? I do need some dirt, actually. So we'll make sure. Yeah, I'll put in my, in my pink terracotta box. I'll put in all the dirt that I find. Because I do need that quite badly. I'm running out. I'm on, a, I'm on a little bit of a crunch for dirt. So if we start putting it away in here, that'd be nice. And I'll also put my flint in here just for just for the abundance of it. Because I am going to use this for building specifically. So there we go. Problem solved. Flint everywhere. That block looks kind of suspicious. You know, gravel already looks suspicious if you ask me. Gravel looks like the type of block that you don't want to invite to your, your birthday party. It looks like the salt block that your friend brings going, yeah, yeah, he's totally changed. He he stopped doing the things that lead him to being like that. But then he hasn't changed, and then things are terrible. I was thinking today about, like, game theory, which, uh, if you don't know, game theory is, like, deciding how you should act knowing how other people will act, right? Like, um, the best way to act as an individual, say, um, if someone offers you um, a thousand pounds... Uh, and you, uh, you know, for, for no reason whatsoever, you should say yes. It is beneficial for you. If someone offers you a thousand pounds, but then the next person, if you don't, or like uh, if someone says, I'll give you a thousand pounds, unless the next person I speak to says he wants a thousand pounds, and in that case, I'm going to take the money from you. You have to then think out not just what happens if you say yes, 
but what happens if you say yes and then the other person says yes? Or, you know, like, I'll give you a thousand pounds, but only if the next person doesn't say yes. If he says yes, I'm gonna steal your kidneys. It's like, well, I want the, I want the money, but there's a chance that I have my kidneys stolen. So you have to consider, like, someone else's action. The classic example of this is the uh, Prisoner's Dilemma, which is like, two people, both are arrested for a crime. They take you into the police station and they say, if you, um, you know, like, uh, we, we know that you, you've done the thing that you've done, we just can't prove it. So we need one of you to confess on the other one. If you confess and the other person, um, you know, like, stays silent, because you and the friend both say you're going to stay silent. So um, if you do that, then, uh, you know, like, what would happen? If you both stay silent, um, then you both get off scot-free. But if one of you just admits the other one did it, um, then, oh, sorry, if you both could, if, if, neither, if you both stay silent, you go to prison for a smaller charge, let's say three years. But if you just rat on your friend, he gets 30 years. And then let's say you both rat on each other, um, then you both get, like, 20 years or something. And so, um, the optimal outcome is that neither of you round each other, because then you both go to prison for three years, which is way less than 20 years for both of you, if you both rat, and 30 years for one of you, if you uh, both do. However, because you don't know what the other person's going to do, you have to act under the assumption that they're going to do the worst thing possible, right? And so, uh, you know, that, that, that is, that is game theory. The idea that, you know, if you, if you think about the post-World War II world of, like, everyone developing nukes, pointing nukes at each other and being like, if you fire a nuke at us, I'll fire a nuke at you. And then they get nukes being like, yeah, if you, if you try that, I'll nuke you first. It's because, yeah, you you don't know what the other person's going to do. So you need to make it true that no matter what they do, they're better off not nuking you. Like, um, you know, if, uh, if my, na if, uh, you know, my neighbors decided to come into my home and take my my uh, electric bike. I like my electric bike a lot, but if they decided to take it, oh, that was suspicious, but I didn't even do anything. Um, but uh, yeah, if, uh, if, if someone uh, decided, you know, they, they went hog wild, uh, my neighbors decided that they really badly uh, would like my e-bike, then that would, they would have my e-bike. I wouldn't, it would suck for me, except if they do that, then they know I'll call the police and they might go to prison. I don't know if you go to prison for theft anymore, not in, not in most jurisdictions, you know? Like, you just get a little slap, you get a little like, ah, oh, don't do this again. But, um, yeah, the idea of, uh, like, you know, like, consequences for bad, you know, like, if you are punished for bad behavior, then you won't do the bad thing, uh, because it's not worth the punishment, or rather the risk of punishment. Because in the Prisoner's Dilemma scenario, both people, um, you know, both you and your friend, if you're caught for a crime, could choose not to rat each other up, but if you, if you have any amount of distrust in what the other person is going to do, if you haven't spoken about it beforehand and you can't communicate, then you might have to assume that he doesn't have your best interests at heart. And kind of a lot of our problems in society stem from this whole... It's not even like uh, the prison celebrity level. It's like um, when you don't know what everyone else is going to do, you have to plan around what might be the worst. Like, you know, you might, you might be a big believer that like... Also, I finally got some suspicious sand. Give me a trim. I don't know why I've got no trim so far. I feel like I deserve one, right? Unexplored mountain in my base has a cherry grove biome. Hey, congrats, Hannah Joys. Um, also, I didn't hear what subject you're studying, Hexateron. I'm sorry. That's all my fault. I gotta do some education here on things that aren't game theory. So here's an interesting, uh, an interesting part of game theory, right? Is spite. Um, so, like, here's, here's a weird fact. Um... Like, uh, if you, okay, let's, let's take, uh, let's try and take the most, I, I feel like this can get, like, political quickly. Uh, so we'll try and make sure it's not one, not, not like a divisive, spicy issue. But let's try and take something, like, fairly mundane and simple. So if you, I'm just going to put as much of this on the ground as we can, take as much dirt away as we can. Again, really want to collect all that stuff. And then let's get out of here. In fact, in fact, let's let's mine all this dirt around here. I don't think there's going to be gravel behind it, but you know, it's dirt. It's useful. So um, yeah, the if you if in a like uh, in the context of like if you imagine a world where um, I I don't know like you if 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 someone does something bad to you, let's say someone uh, you know actually this is the whole problem with uh, like crime and uh, like 
reactions to as a whole. Let's say, because if my neighbor steals my e-bike, I like it a lot. It's my most valued possession. If my if my neighbors take it, uh, you know, I don't own a car. I don't. I, I, it, I don't need one. I keep, like, I, I do consider, I, I look at cars every now and then. I'm like, you know, I don't know. I don't know if that would have improved my life too much here. Um, but, um, so if my neighbor's still my most prized possession, then, the you know, it's really easy to solve that on a legal level. You just make them give it back, and then maybe something more for the inconvenience. If you really want to go a step further. Or you embarrass them, or you give them some, like, punishment like that. But what if they do something like they harm me? They punch me in the face, and they go, yeah, that's what you get for thinking it's okay to to talk 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 badly about me on a live stream, Toy Cat. I would never steal your e-bike. So now, once someone's done something like that, irreversible harm, let's say, um, there's a real struggle in like, should you even punish that? Like me punishing them doesn't bring, you no, know, like if if they murdered my dog, me also a grindstone, that's actually really valuable. Wow, ah, I like that. But, um, yeah, I, uh, if, if, uh, the, the truth is, is that, like, it doesn't bring back a person, it doesn't fix my, my wound if we, we harm them, but it's all about the game fear of, like, the next time they consider, should they do something, it, that, when people are considering, should they do something bad, they need to be thinking, like, oh, but what might happen? Like, you know, you could argue that's more, like, punishment and consequences or whatever else, um, but it's a really hard answer. It's to, like, well, once the thing's happened, logically the best thing to do is not to make it terrible. But before it happens, you want to have strong punishments. You want to tell people if you do, ooh, if you do this, you'll it'll be terrible for you. Okay, please, this is my first trim. No, it's not. I think that's a ugh. the number of wooden hoes you have to pick up when you're in a trail ruins. It's too many. It's too many. The trick is not to get caught. Man, these structures are huge, huh? Yeah, it really is one of the biggest structures uh, I think Minecraft's ever had. It is uh, it is ludicrously sized. Um, if we don't... Also, I'm, I'm surprised we haven't found a, uh, an ocean moment today. I was expecting to find one. Yeah, pleasantly, pleasantly surprised. Also, so look how big it is. I've gone all this way over here, and then it just kind of continues to the left here. So I'll place the torch there, and then I can break all of this dirt. Just take it with me. Kind of in the way anyway. And let's see what's happening over here. Do you see anything? Oh, there we go. I do see something. Suspicious. Please note it's a candle. <laughs> you know, I you know, when someone said I used up all my luck today, I think it's true. I'm having having some very terrible luck right here. So uh we have a big wall of gravel to break through. There's a chance some of this is suspicious. There's a chance that not all of it is. We have to go from top to bottom and just see what's what. Anything sus here? Nope. Place a torch. Anything sus here? Nope. We're all good. So yeah, start from the top. Oh, no, there's more even above this. Oh, this is this is a very big stack of gravel. Is this even related to the structure or is this just a big gravel pocket? You'll never know in Minecraft sometimes. You do a lot of you do a lot of gravel mining. Just to conclude, there was never a chance that it could have led to anything anyway. But, um, manifest trims chat. It says dazed and confused. Okay, chat. We need to all do it. Next time we find find a suspicious block, you need to all be very clear together. You need to imagine that inside of it, there will be a trim. You need to say it out loud even, I would say. Go a step further. And if we all do it together, then it will just work. That is, I believe, the way that works. Pretty sure, you know, I'm kind of a kind of a smart scientist when it comes to oddsology. There's no better term for it. It's called oddsology. That's the study of odds. It just it feels like this should be something more, but I don't think it actually is. So over here, it's exactly the same. There was a suspicious gravel at the bottom of that, but I think that might just be a big pile. Okay, yeah. So next time we find a suspicious gravel block, hope hopefully we do find one. Surprised we haven't so far, but there's always always time yet. Okay, not over here either. That's fine. Keep looking. Okay, this this pile over here. So one, two, anything in there? Nope. <laughs> yeah, the uh, the structures are huge, and you will always find like a few more blocks when you're not looking, or when you when you think you're finished looking. Some random blocks will appear out of nowhere. 
If you think you're truly done, you just kind of look behind the existing ones and you find, oh, no, oh, more gravel. Although nothing there. Although this might be truly searched out now. We've gone very low below the ground. And we've dug all these little corners. Okay, over here. More, more odd corners. Is this a, ah, suspicious. Okay, chat. Manifest armor trims. We need an armor trim. A trim. Please manifest it into existence. Just right now. Take a second. Just one second. Armor trim. Say it out loud. Think it in your brain. This is hard science. This has not been refuted by any known method. Okay, you know what? You aren't thinking hard enough. This is the problem. You all got to think a little bit harder next time. You've got to really want it to happen. And then the universe will make it so. This is just this is just a science. Uh, scientists have been trying to prove it for a while. But they just haven't been thinking hard enough about the proof. Which is why they haven't found it. If they all manifested the proof hard enough, they would have a lot of it. But since they don't, it's hard to like prove it works. But trust me, it, <laughs> it's such a stupid idea. You know, so the only reason they haven't done it is they're not they're not doing what I say hard enough. You know, in a, in a big enough way. There's no other reasons it could be. So we've been up here already. I think that is. So we'll check in this corner, like behind the blocks. Make sure there's no gravel hiding behind it all. You never know where there will be some. But yeah, for now, I think uh, I think this Trail Ruins is absolutely finished. Okay, it's, it's not terrible. I guess there's technically a block there. And then some over here. Oh, wait. Wait. And then over here. Maybe, just maybe, chat. There's, all, there's dirt in between it, so I think it's still connected. Okay. More... More so there we go. Suspicious gravel. This has got to be our last two chances. Oh no, there's there's way more to the structure. See, I thought I was done. So we're gonna save up our chances together because you're not good enough at manifesting, chat. I'm gonna give you three chances here. Do you need a fourth? I can I can arrange that. Well, four chances. Four chances of the trim now. If you can't make this work, I'm sorry. There's I've got it, you can't be helped. But just say the word armor trim. Picture an armor trim if you have to. Let's go. Okay, that's not a suspicious block. But this one is. So that is a pottery shard. Some people say pottery shard. But you want to know why I say shard? Oh, God. Lag. Uh, it's because of this proof right here. Do you see? Pottery shard. Oh, God. This is so odd. The friend pottery shard. Okay, I can't throw it out my inventory. There we go, we can. Okay, so armor trim. That's what we want. Not a, none of this none of this pottery shard. I mean, I, I think I might want the pottery shards. But yeah, armor trim. So we got two more opportunities. It's shard on both editions then. Ooh, a shard means you're in the good loot area of the structure. Trim, trim. Are there good loot areas of the structure? Okay, you know what? I'm fact checking that right now. Trail... Ruins Minecraft. Is it different? I thought it was the same across the whole thing. Common. So each Trail Ruins has one... Okay, and Bedrock, it's like this. Oh, there is rare suspicious gravel. That's not a joke. That's a real fact. That's a really silly fact. So you have to find rare suspicious gravel. And the rare suspicious gravel has an 8.3% chance of containing any given... Oh, the relic could be found in there. Okay, chat. So we got a 1 in 12 chance of finding relic and a 4 in 12 chance of finding a trim here. Because this is the, the rare part of the structure. That's interesting. I, I need to look up how the rare, the, rare, the rare gravel generates. Let's go. What are we going to find? Oh, it looks like a shard to me. That's acceptable. I will take it. I'm not in love with it. I'm not in hate with it. It's a fine outcome. Uh, it's absolutely okay. But this one, chat, I want relic. I would really like to have relic. Am I going to? No, this is not rare. I don't know how this one isn't rare and the other ones were. Very strange. Um, okay, so there's one more super rare looking gravel. It's in the right part of the structure. So that's a useful tip. Like, if you ever feel like you're having bad luck, just wait until you're in a different part. 
you might find a secret room, and in that secret room, armor trim. Everyone say it. Say it together. Oh no. Oh god, we're out for air gravel. Rest us travel is just deeper in the ruins. There's so there's there are particular blocks with it in there, huh? That's interesting to know. So, um, to answer your question from yesterday, Dasher. Wait, that I understand. I get it now. That's why. Okay, I think I get. I think I understand suspiciousness now. You know, okay. There's, you know, there's, there's, there's common type of suspiciousness, like a guy who asks you, um, who asks you for money while looking incredibly on the influence. And then there's, uh, there's like high levels of suspicious, like the guy who asks what the name of your, your first pet was, uh, your mother's maiden name. And, you know, there's, 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 you know, there's, there's layers to this stuff. So let's put this all in that. I'm going to have too much flint by the time I'm done. A foot. This is already so much. I, a fortune shovel was a questionable idea. But I'm going to stick with it anyway. It's going to be great. Good to see you, Liam Vandermeer, by the way. Hello. Welcome to the live stream. I am... I'm sure there's more of those rooms off to the side somewhere, right? Like over here. Is there something? There's a lot of red terracotta. Does it lead anywhere? No. There's another room over here. I think I just came from there. Oh, there's a lot of rooms off to the side. This is this is the weirdest structure Minecraft has ever made. I still I still can't tell you that I fully understand one of these. Um, to be totally honest, I don't know what's happening. I just know a lot of stuff is. So no more rooms. Yeah, do you think I'm out, chat? Do you think that is every room we've explored? What if? Yeah, I think at this point we're just gonna start breaking stuff. Um. Which is fine. We can also... I've been loving these armor trim streams. 1.20 is me and my son playing again. Uh, keep it up. Thank you. You know, I hope that you keep it up as well. I don't know what you need to keep up necessarily. But uh, <laughs> I hope that you do it. Yeah, I... Um, I think that... Uh, you, by the way, I appreciate your smurf bite. It's been a, been a while. So, uh, you know, actually, I say that... I said that last time, which means that... I, I remember saying it. Which means it hasn't been as long since last time. Which I'm glad for. So now we're going to put this pottery shard into my... So I've got two of them. And I've got a shulker box specifically for them. Right? Okay, it's a white shulker box. Blends in well with my inventory. Let's put them in there alongside the brick. So we got a friend pottery shard and we've got a sheaf pottery shard. I really would like to find relic. Um, I totally forgot that was one of the things you find down here. Also, I don't know how I even get out of this place. Do I just follow this up and see where it takes me? Yep, that seems to be the system. Um, there's more below each house I have found. Okay, we we can come back here in a little bit if it gets to it. But for now, let's see if we can find another trail ruins chat. Too bad you can't duplicate pottery shards. You know what, Dasher? You're not you're not British English or American English. Is it pottery shards or shards? Wait, I'm gonna I'm gonna test this one. Okay, I'm gonna go to my settings. Is it in Minecraft? Oh, not on an Xbox. It wouldn't be. Okay, well, guess I can't change it anyway. Uh, but we're gonna go this way, and we're gonna we're gonna go back towards the. Um, I I know there was a jungle around my like where I found my first uh, where I found my first sniff rig or whatever. So we're gonna we're gonna give that a shot. By the way, um, thank you very much. Uh, I forgot to mention it, but Sergeant Preston became a member. Did that Did that show up already, chat? Sergeant Preston? Uh, anyway, I think I was wrong there. So, um, it's sure to me. I say shards out of respect for you. You know what? That is a respectful person. That's, uh, that's interesting. I guess, do you set it to US English? How do you pick an English to choose, Dasha? How, how did you, how did you decide on an English? You know, you, you have many choices in your English. How did you choose ours? So yeah, we... I thought there was a jungle. There is! And so we're gonna look around for it. Okay, so... The jungle can contain pottery shirts. Well, sorry. I guess, I guess technically speaking. It can contain trail ruins. So we're gonna look for one. If we found a jungle temple, I'd be very pleased. But I'm most... Oh! That's the shipwreck I found previously. So I've been here. If you haven't seen this chat, this is... Oh, wait, is that a jungle temple? No, it's just a big... Wait, what is that? It's an azalea tree. I was like, it looks like mossy cobblestone. I always choose UK English now, even though I'm American. 
Best English. I picked US English because the internet speaks US English. Yeah, I go with the same thing. Like, um, I spell armor in my titles with the without the U. It makes sense to be there, but I I accept that it it's it's you know more searchable otherwise. It's armor trims. Oh no, I spelled my title on this video armor trims. You know that's fun. Chat, let's let's test something. I'm gonna remove the U, and we're gonna see if more people start watching because they're like, what's an armor trim? I don't need an out. Because I feel like every non-American understands Americans, but Americans, like, they don't understand... So, you know, okay. So, some Americans don't understand that there is a world outside of America. And that that is, that is honestly a testament to America's success that they don't need to, right? Like, if you are a Belgian, you literally cannot exist without understanding what France and Germany are. Like, they might they might just come and ruin your country um, if they feel like it. If you don't if you don't know what's going on, you don't don't keep them on side. Might Might get some real problems. But as an American, you can live your whole life not even knowing the concept of countries. Like, there's there's one country, right? And it's the one with all the freedom and the and the and the you know the and the democracy. And then there's like a bunch of third water backwater holes. With, like, and you and the fact that you can believe that is a testament to the country's success. Is it ideal? Oh, it's raining. That's fun. So um, what was I gonna do? I was going to. I had something important that I was going to do. Totally forgot what it was, though. Um, also, um, huh? What the heck is a kilometer? <laughs> oh, I was going to change the title of the stream. I was like, I was was doing something. I said it was important. Okay, look at this chat. Arm more trims. Okay, so right now we have uh, 599 viewers, it says. 585 viewers. Do you see a shipwreck, by the way? Um... I've already been to that one, I'm pretty sure. It doesn't have the trims. I, I think I just got the shipwreck trims last time. I need four, I need more of them still. But I'm doing pretty low on shipwreck trims. So this is the very edge of the jungle. There might be some over there. I don't know though. I don't know. So we're going to go a little bit further. Just a little bit. We're approaching the edge of where the 1.19 terrain is going to meet this. Or it's, it's going to be like 1.18 or 17 or something. What a 4 are working on the console port of Hytale, says Cicato. Okay, so my real talk here, I don't know how much I want to say, but I I know it's not a Minecraft-related project, and I doubt it's anything big like Hytale, solely because... Actually, wait, imagine if it is Hytale. No, it's not. It can't be. But um, it's something it's something original. Also, Enderstar, thank you for being a 36-month <laughs> member. So, Cat, you left your sh yellow shulker box in the trail ruins. <sighs> Okay, so as soon as we hit the old terrain, we'll turn around, and then we'll say it was intentional. Like, everything good in life. Okay, I'm, I'm like, way too deep in here anyway. So, um, yeah, I think that, um, okay, is this just all going to be forest around here? Oh, God, look at this. <laughs> look how broken it is. My ter it's all, it's all so broken, chat. I wonder which chunks are old and which ones are new. We got some... Is this a desert over here? This is a desert over here. Interesting. Um, yeah, this is this is some bizarre terrain. Okay, you know, this is clearly where the old chunks hit the new chunks. So we're not going to find any trail ruins around here. Uh, we're not in a we're not in a tiger anyway. We're not in a a, uh, a jungle anyway. We're just in a weird place. Like, look at look at what's happening here. I love it. Thank you. Uh, you know, end of start. I hope you're enjoying your emerald cat. Unless emerald was 24 months already. And it, we, in which case, we totally need to get ourselves a uh, 36. So we need to go all the way back to the trail ruins from before. I think I might... I didn't leave my bed there. I guess from up here, we might see more of the jungle anyway. So, cat, okay, build a donut island in the end. I don't understand why that would be a good idea. I just don't understand it all. If you'd understand, then I would love to know. Neverite cat when. You know what, Dasha? You're only 36 months away from a Neverite cat. You know, I'm just saying. You just 36 months. Just 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 one war and 36 months after that. And then you'll be good. You'll be golden. <laughs> well you remember before, I, I actually it's been so long. I don't remember I don't remember a time where East Asia was not at war of uh, West Asia. 
Also, um, but yeah, we're gonna we're gonna head way out over here. I think I lost it, by the way. Was it just further north? I thought it was about fifteen hundred x, but apparently not. This is this is why we should probably put a a um, we should probably put a never portal at my first trail ruins. Oh yeah, and then we could like put some brick in the. You know, that's a good idea. Let's do it. Rather than getting lost like this, let's use the never. The never is always the way to explore your world. Pro tip. If you don't think it's true, then you just don't know. Um, but yeah, I, uh, I, what's been going on? We know the game and we're going to play it. And if you ask me how I'm feeling, it's ne don't tell me you're too hot to see. Never going to give you up. Never going to let you down. Never going to run around and desert you. Never going to make you cry. Never going to say goodbye. Never going to tell a lie and hurt you. Never going to give you up. Wow, I think I accidentally just got rickrolled there. Oh, no. That was, that was entirely unpreventable, chat. Um, how did the octahedron go, says, uh, Mark Barger. Fun story about that. Fun story about that. So this is my jungle. This is where... Okay, I've gotten lost. I need to find my coordinates from before, honestly. <laughs> I'm so lost. Okay, if I find the ship, I know I'm in the right place, right? Okay, okay. So that's what I'm gonna do. Um, never gonna desert well. Uh, you, you know, what? I'm never gonna, never gonna run around and desert well. You, you know, why isn't it a desert well? That's a big mistake. My experience is unfortunately we find out the architecture scores are very different from Minecraft. I'm surprised they don't use Minecraft. I feel like it's a good 3D building tool. I know, like every Minecraft developer is always like it's not a block editing tool, um, but like it's a really good one. Okay, I need to find my previous coordinates. I, I might have to go back and... Okay, 1264 was way less than I was expecting. And it's also way further down than I was expecting. Did, did, did. Oh, wow. Both uh, both uh, Cat and uh, Dash are in here. So, okay, so what... Okay, different coordinates, which is interesting. But we'll, we'll find it. Okay, so it's over here somewhere. Chat, I think I'm lost. I think I'm lost. Okay, 4280, 1517. It's not these. I'm pretty sure. Mine's the ship. Wait, where is it, chat? I 1517, 43802. Okay, 4280. Oh, it's it's just over to the north here. I'm I'm so I okay, is it is it just up around this bend? I think so, right? Is it just just around here. I'm I'm so I'm so lost and confused. Okay, so it's to the left and this way. So we're gonna kill the creeper. You know, finding finding structures is hard, chat. Let's take a moment and appreciate that. <laughs> and then, um, I guess we could say, um, well, so um, it took me five Never Fortress the other day to get the rib trim. Good luck if you're going for it. Yeah, the Never Fortress one is going to be a whole fun thing. Um, should we should we set aside a day for that? Okay, so I guess we're gonna have to like kind of like separate them down, right? Because this is today is like get the four. Uh, oh god, I'm so lost. I'm so unbelievably lost. Okay, it was fifteen twenty eight. Once I'm there, I can find. Okay, no, it wasn't fifteen twenty eight. I'm s I, I just... Okay, is it here? Yeah, there it is. So that's why we need never portals. We need a big body of lava. And we need to turn that into something more usable. So this is not going to help me with that. But anyway, this is... This is... I'm going to store these coordinates more valuably. Or something like that. And we're going to go grab my shulker box. I left it in here. And so... Because I'm a little bit desperate. I'm going to see if maybe I just didn't see another secret room. What if we dig down below the main structure some more? There might be gravel. If we dig down below that gravel, we might find more gravel. We dig down enough times, where do we end up? Do we end up just mining gravel for a, for a little side job? Or do we end up with any suspicious blocks? I don't think any of this is suspicious, right? Yeah, I'm underwater gravel mining with no... No chance of success. Okay, that's useful to know. Very useful to note. 
So let's bounce out. Um, okay, I need th this. This is clearly the edge of the structure. So we're going to make our staircase out there. And we're going to say it's all okay. We didn't need it anyway. And then we're going to go grab our shocker box, which very important not to forget that. We're going to throw some garbage on the ground here and future me can come deal with it. <laughs> Cobblestone and bricks and just, you know, we'll, we'll put this all in chests essentially, just in case future me is like, I really need two stained glass planes and I want them from all around, all the way on the other side of the world. And then this will be my solution to that. 1.20.1 is out for beta. Yeah, that's uh, that's what today's video is about, if you want to give it a check. Um, fair few people like asking, like, when, what, how, etc. Oh, God. Was that a creeper explosion? Yeah, it was. Kind of handy, I guess. Okay, so now we're going to go to sleep, and we're going to get real... We're going to go real hard on finding... We're going to go real far on, hard on finding these uh, armor trims. We're going to do such a good job. Such a great job. Okay, so... This is... It's kind of interesting. Okay, so I can finally go to sleep. How many trims have you found? I'm on like seven, and I'm hoping to go to 11 today. This is, if there's anything I learned from my uh, my short-lived series, um, if there's anything I learned from that, so I'm gonna quickly see. How many viewers do we have? It went up to 519. Okay, it's down to 519. 80 people were like, I don't understand what our more is, Toy Cat. I was down when you were looking for our mower trims. But an armor trim is just something I don't get. And to those people, I say sorry. So this is new terrain again. Or maybe it, this is old terrain? No, this has to be new. Terrain just didn't used to be this tool. So we're going to go on a big fly until we find a new... We have to go at least 4,000 blocks out. So 4,000... Like, 5,000 blocks out. Whatever it is. I went to five uh, Never Fortress today. Oh, End Fortress today. And got no trims. Got three Elytras, though. Yeah, I think it'd be fun to do a whole day of just never and end searching, right? Maybe tomorrow. What do you reckon, chat? You want to do some never and end searching tomorrow? I have to be really careful when exploring my end. But, um... Oh, yeah, this is the Let's Plays talking about new terrain. Yeah, if we see a cherry grove, we know we're good. Okay, so... We're only 2,000 blocks this way from new terrain. If we find a big lava... Okay, we're going to go real high, by the way. Because I've seen all the blocks in the first thousand blocks. We go like 300 some... Okay. We're 300x up. We can't see anything and that's okay. We're going to throw some string on the ground to confuse future me. Future me's problem. Not my problem. Going to throw a trident on the ground and a spider eye on the ground. And we're just going to keep on going till we hit like... Um, we're going to keep on going till we get to like four and a half thousand, five thousand, wherever I was before. And then we're going to swoop down real low. I might have gone kind of optimistic on that. Okay, let's just go for it. Oh, Lord. Okay, I might have gone too low. It's fine. I'm going so fast, chat. I haven't seen anything in so long. Oh, God. I almost... Okay, so I'm going to slow down a bit so I don't hit anything unexpected. Okay, so now we find the first jungle or tiger that we see. And we give it a peek, I think. Again, I'm trying to stay about 4,000 on the Z-axis. So we have to overcorrect a little bit. Oh, tiger, right? Tiger. Oh, oh, yeah, tiger. Okay, so now we look around the parts close to the water. That's a myth for now, but I'm going to use the myth and see if it works. That is water. Probably not tiger water, though. Uh, is that the end of the biome? Oh, come on. Wait, I was here before. I remember... No, I don't remember this. was not here before. So we look around very briefly, we see what we find. We see that the biome goes this way. And, oh, wait, 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 wait. That is not a tiger over there, but that is... Chat, I, I have to... I think that is... Either that's that's a weird looking... Okay, you're not. I see a ruined portal first. But then I think I see... Is that... Is that... Yeah, that is! I'm sure of it. Okay, so this is this is breaking my whole system. I had what I had two rules. I, I know they spawn here, but I've I've only seen them so far in the other ones. Now we know. Check a birch forest too. It is near the water too, so the water rule is working for now. As you can see, this gravel not suspicious. As you can see, this gravel 
Very suspicious. So, give it a good mind. Be very careful of the surface ones. Uh, the surface blocks are never going to be rare, I guess. So we could probably just ignore them. And then we're also going to place a chest down over here. So I can collect brown candles. Oh yeah, love me some brown candles. Um, but yeah, I, uh, the water rule worked well for me. I wonder, uh, I wonder why that is. It's helpful. It will allow me to find more of these later. And now let's throw in the... I guess just anything that we don't really know that we're going to be using immediately. Yeah, just make some space. It's a good idea. I'll make a bunch of flint spots. And now I know I can come back looking for flint. That felt really cool, by the way. Get nine get nine of something and, like, spread it out. That's the upside of this, using a separate machine to run. Okay, so... Um, I, I de-dusted my PC yesterday and, like... An industrial amount of dust came out. Like, I, it started choking me. Uh, but that's apparently not the issue. I should have not relied on it being. And I figured if we, like, used less of a load on the PC, that might also fix things. Was not a fix by itself. By the way, the Darren Hughes memberships, um, I don't think they would have come through. I think he remembered at just the exact wrong time. So I'm going to play a few of them right now. Because we haven't listened to Relic. I don't have the disc yet. But we can fix that, hopefully, by, um... I uh, know we'll have one of these come up. You know, do 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 do. Oh right, I've been. I was like expecting um. Okay, I'm not back. Says Darren Hughes. Good to see you. Sorry. So, <laughs> you know, you came in in the exact same time. So uh, if you don't know, I've been dealing with uh, extreme. Also, by the way, this room portal. Perfect thing for me to... Like, look at how perfect it is, too. It's missing just free obsidian. I just need two lava, and it'll be good to go. I've been dealing with extreme uh, stream crashing issues recently. Uh, it's a whole problem. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to make this into a full ruin portal as a way to get back. So, before we before we do any, um, any of this, I think it makes sense to get some lava. We have a brand new structure chat. It took me... Don't check how long it took me to find a new one. Um, <laughs> lived by the bat. Should left. Should have left the dust. Extreme. Um, but yeah, let's uh, let's see if we can't find some lava. <sighs> this is why you need to bring more than one block of obsidian around with you. Apparently, that's not enough to actually. Okay, there's no lava underneath this thing. It's always worth checking, but I know there's not. So we pray there's some lava below somewhere in this structure, which we know there shouldn't be. But if there is, it'll be fun. So we're going to make a big staircase in, starting over here. Okay, so the reason we're staircasing in is because the structure kind of starts quite low right now. Which is why we need to do something like this. So dig down. Nice and easy. Dig down. Very easy. And then eventually, the staircase will take us into, I hope... A structure. Maybe I'm wrong. I'm I am directly below the thing, and yet I see nothing besides water. Okay, that's concerning. I'll I'll come back to this. It's um sus gravel can be from the top though. Yeah, the um I don't think it's ever rare suspicious gravel. Like it's always worth mining. Okay, so there's one more suspicious gravel right over here. What's inside, chat? Oh, it's a... Oh, you'll never guess that. Oh, wait, actually. Okay, it's a brick. I thought it was a trim. Why do I Why do I get my hopes up? Because I'm a silly person with bad ambitions. Anyway, so we're going to... We went a little bit too far this way, I guess. So we're going to bring it round. We're going to make this into, like, a staircase down. Yep, we'll just make that a big platform and then back down this way. We might have gone a little bit too early, but it's okay. We place a little torch down, and we find the rest of the structure, maybe? Come on, where are, where are you, structure? There we go. Okay. So this is my second trail ruins I've ever found on this world. Um, I need to... Oh, I closed my... Okay, I need to... <laughs> I, I have a couple of monitors, and one of them has... Uh, all my stream tips on, but I accidentally put my my YouTube stats on that. It's a whole thing. Okay, so 
Okay, it's currently running. That's not ideal. Okay, so uh, hello, I'm IBX Toy Cat, and welcome back to another live stream on the internet. I, it is weird. I didn't have, I had stream crashing issues like a few years ago, that I mostly resolved recently. But I guess the keyword there was only mostly. So now we're gonna brush this and get. Is that a shard? That's a shard, right? So just to just to give you a reminder, the one I have is friend and chief. Howl. Okay. So I've got three pottery shards now. Oh, is that three or is that four? Wait, I think that could be one of the ones I- I've got burn, yeah, okay. I I am almost certain, um, I am almost certain now that I have got what I need. Um, I'm not 100% though. So this is clearly a rare room. Is this gonna be more? Or maybe it's not. Maybe there's no such thing as rare rooms. It's just you find a rare one and then wait. No. <gasps> yes. Thank you. This is my second. I went. I had to go to a whole second one of them, chat. But look what I just found. Oh yes. That's for me. I have myself a brand new trim. I I need sixty. I, I have seven, and now I have like I have like probably ten if you count duplicates. Uh, and because I, I need four of each type. I am now just a little bit closer to where I would like to be. Thank God. Okay, so... Oh wait, this goes in a different box, I think. Right over here. Yeah, right there. Okay, so we've got four separate shards. Got a new Wayfinder trim. It's going pretty well for me. And now let's go back in. Actually, we should probably place a bed first. Uh, you know, uh, doing archaeology is hard work. Sure is nice to take a nap here and there. Congrats for that new trim. Thank you, Clary Frey. I need it. So, uh, oh wait, no, I can just leave that there. Set my respawn point. Go back in. You know, a lot of people don't like the whole, like, smacking your head, as they like to call it. So we'll dig this down just a little bit, just to appease those people. You know, form over function, I say. But there we go. Then we go on this side. We'll make it too wide over here, just, just to... Keep the aesthetic of the, the thing moving. And now let's, uh, I guess we need to also move some blocks here, but it's fine. Let's remove some of the non-suspicious gravel. Man, the the last one was like really making me work for my suspicious pieces. This one is not. I, I respect that. I respect that a lot. So yeah, lots and lots and lots of archeology span to be done. But hopefully what comes out is totally worth it. Oh yes. I needed a green candle so bad. I was desperate for a green candle. I came all the way out here, 9,000 blocks away from my base, and we finally got it, chat. The green candle. Ooh, I could have just used some wax and some string, you might say. But no, no, no. I have myself one of these. Oh, yeah. Yeah, look at this. I'm going to put it right here next to my bed. Oh, it looks perfect. Oh, I love it so much. Thank the Lord. Oh. What a good day this is. Um, <laughs> okay, um... <laughs> Sarcasm detected, says Clary Frey. I have no idea what you're talking about. I really love candles. And I love um, the idea that I can find them. And all i got to do is travel thousands of blocks. All I've got to do. Um, no, I do feel as though the travel ruins are desperately begging... Like, uh... The stuff you get in this structure would be so much better with a bundle, right? Can we all agree on that? It doesn't matter what your beliefs are. We can all agree that this this structure doesn't make sense without a bundle. So there's nothing over here. We'll check over here. I mean, there's clearly more to this structure, but which way is it? Is it a one-room trail ruins? <coughs> <coughs> uh, Captain Sarcasm, if you will. Now add a new row to the inventory. I think the new row inventory idea is a little bit, like, premature. Uh, which is okay. We're all a little premature in our own way. Um, what's over here? Nothing that I can see. What's over... You know, we'll just destroy all the block. Okay, is this is this actually it? Okay, there's the gravel all the way down. There is. Okay, yeah, we are. We're going down. That's fine. Easily worked out. None of this is suspicious, so it technically... There we go, okay. Thank God. Okay, so two blocks of suspiciousness. I'm, uh... It's crazy because the odd tables, knowing that there's just two types of gravel, 
Yeah, a little bit confusing. But as you can see, we've got four suspicious blocks now. I'm going to save up as many as I can for one big batch chat. Five suspicious blocks. Six suspicious blocks. Oh, what a what a crazy room this is. Mine that block. Oh, seven suspicious blocks. That is... Okay, so... Sometimes you mine a hundred blocks and don't find anything suspicious. Sometimes the reverse happens. Um, okay, that's eight suspicious blocks we're going to be able to do in a row. So far. Okay. I'm going to have a... I'm going to have a delightful little feast of gravel. Um, straight up these blocks. Gotta be careful not to let them fall if we can. Let Letting gravel fall. Not ideal. Anything behind it? I don't see anything. Anything back here? Okay, so I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be the the having having a like a suspicious gravel is a little bit like of a dangerous game. Uh, there's there's now sus, sus specific. Oh, two more. Okay, chat. This is this is wild. This 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 one has led to so much good for me. So let's go on a absolute brushing rampage. So one, two. Don't need it. Oh wait, oh wait, do need it. Yes! Relic got on. Heck yes. Oh This is great. I'm very pleased. What's in here? Okay, so I know what's in there. You know chat, do you know how we should celebrate relic being got on? You know how we should celebrate. End of the stream. For anything else. You know what we're gonna do. You know you know it, it's fine. I know it, you know it. We all know it. It's gonna be wonderful. So throw all of that down there. Pick up this new music disc. Uh, I've also gotta pick up that pottery shard, it looks like, which is fine. So throw all of that on the ground. Yeah, this, this is a fun one too, the heartbreak. That's, that's definitely gonna be useful somewhere. Oh, name the, uh, okay, so we're now up here, yellow. Don't care. Up here. Oh, two trims. I think two trims next to each other, chat. Oh, I think we got the rare double trim right there. Oh, yes, we did. Oh, look at that. Are they the same as each other? Wait, chat. Can you tell? I don't think you... I think I got two of the exact same trim at the exact same time. Uh, let's confirm. No, I did not. Okay, they're different trims. So we went from having no trims from a Trail Ruins to having three trims from a Trail Ruins. Huh, that was nice. It looked very similar. Oh no, did I break one that I wasn't meant to? No, that one had the oak sign and I don't care. This one on the other hand has blue dye. And so I also don't care. Yeah, we're letting it build up. That was the solution. Okay, this is glass, don't care. This is a, oh, another shard. Oh, it's a brick. <laughs> don't care. As, as should go without saying. And then this one is blue dye. Oh no, it's a glass shard. You know, this is just gonna get me get me injured when I walk over it. You know, I'm I'm gonna have to call health and safety on Mojang. It's not acceptable to expect me to walk over all these glass shards, but it is acceptable to give me. Oh yeah! Whoa! Two razor trims now. Oh yeah! What a good day this is for. Oh yeah! And a, and another shard. Okay, we're doing great, chat. We're doing just wonderfully. We're doing more than wonderfully. Okay, so... I... am pretty pleased with my friend Pottery Shard and my Heartbreak Pottery Shard. And now I'm gonna jump out here. I'm gonna just, uh... Really, you know... Having ladders is useful, I would say. Based on what I'm seeing right now. But in the absence of that, we'll just jump around. Mine a bunch of these. Jump up here. There we go. Nice and simple. Welcome in. Can you sing the entire Relic song so we can get something for IBX 4 count highlights? <laughs> you know, you know we need to make it happen. Also, um, good to see you, Harrison. How's it going? Wait, do you want to... I'm very pleased myself, Harrison. I got myself five pottery shards. I got myself three sep. I got I got four separate four trims from three separate types. I've almost I've almost completed the trail ruins, which is good news. 
And now, I, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to put back to this chest. I'm gonna make sure it has all the garbage in there that just is gonna build up. Yeah, this is, this is a good day. Also, I'm getting a bunch of mud bricks. I know mud bricks are easy to make, but I just don't usually bother. So seeing them out here is a good opportunity for me to maybe do that. Or maybe not, you know, honestly, could go either way on that. Proud of you, says Harrison Gray. You know, that's what I was, that's what I needed, chat. I'm glad we got it. We can, we can be very happy now. So yeah, I, I'm, I'm gonna be using Relic. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Rebuild a ruins. <laughs> that is not, that's actually not a terrible idea, huh? What if we, okay, hear me out. What if we destroy an entire trail ruins and then move it across the world? That's a fun project idea, huh? So I hate this, but it's fine. Um, so yeah, this, this, oh wait, what's over there? It's gonna be blue dye. You know, there's, there's so many last shards. If I could understand if it gave me a little stack, I'd be like, well, that's useful for something. But this is literally just Minecraft being like, I heard you hate inventory management. I heard you want your inventory to be cluttered. So I figured I would, you know, I figured I'd be your, your best friend on that. And just, I don't, I don't know. I don't know if I think, find that to be helpful. Thank you, thank you for trying, I guess, Minecraft. But also, no, you didn't, you didn't really. Okay, so, plenty of blocks, and plenty of gravel. But what else are we going to find? Oh, a suspicious block over here. It's got a gold nugget in, I think. <laughs> You know, in prehistoric, so, you know, I think piglins used to rule the overworld. Based on the amount of gold that they leave lying around, I think it's the only explanation that makes sense. Um, I, uh, but yeah, oh, we got something. I didn't see what it was, but it can't be important. I guess now the block is unimportant. Do, 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 Good Minecraft music, huh? Big fan. Let's eat gold leaf carrots, IRL. Good thing we manifested all those trends. Thank you. As you can see, the science is, is, has come in. At some point, people manifested the trims, and at some future point, they all came. Therefore, it's not an unrelated coincidence. It is just a pure, what's the word? Um, the, also, oh, I thought that was something special. It's just yellow dye. Honestly, if you don't know your Minecraft blocks, I would say archeology span is so fun because you genuinely don't know what's rare and valuable and what's just a thing. Like, you know, getting a yellow dye might be like, oh, what am I gonna do with it? Until you realize like, wait, I can use a yellow dye. My torch box should be yellow, right? Cause it's yellow for torches. So you do that, and then you're like, wow. Wait, should it be yellow? Yeah, yellow yellow for torch box. I made it pink by accident, now it's finally yellow again. Um, yeah, I, uh, I, I hope that, uh, also it's a light blue for the torches, obviously. <laughs> I mean, obviously. Okay, so over there we've got a block that I'm sure I looked at already. No, I haven't, because that's another pottery shard coming my way. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. So, yellow terracotta on the ground, flint on the ground, heartbreak in my in my soul. So yeah, I, I, I know duplicating pottery shards is an interesting idea people are talking about. But I mean, if you just have to go to, you have to go to more trail ruins to get all the trims times four anyway. So you might as well, also wait, that's a candle. Love candles so much. Archaeology is like a very chill thing to do. Like Minecraft has a lot of very intense activities. Try and fight the wither or get get silence trim and tell me that's not true. But I feel like this update is a bit more like, yeah, you can spend some time, just look around, look around, play spot the difference. Are you good at spot the difference? If so, you'll you'll be great at getting these new armor trims. And then the new armor trims, what do they do? They make you look pretty. <laughs> is there a reason to need to look pretty? I mean, ugh, you know, is there a reason not to want to look pretty? More like, um, so break that, and this, and that, and that, and maybe place one of these down. What's happening? Not too much. 
So, um, yeah, I, I think we've lost our amazing luck spot. But there is a huge structure out here. And it's still worth looking through. There's going to be some more sus, sus blocks around here somewhere. Is that suspicious? It's not. It's funny because if after a while, if it, after you roll of not finding one, you're like, okay, I must be wrong. Somewhere around here, there must be a suspicious block. I can't have just gone this long without finding one. Which of you is suspicious? I can tell something's suspicious in here. Just tell me which one of you it is and I'll, I'll let you off. And then this is what I'm saying. Like, you can find ten next to each other and you go this long and have none. It's it's a beautiful game. See, it's, the, it's, the, it's like the whole thing about, like, why would you not just play creative or use chunk base or whatever else? The longer you go about a win, the better a win will feel. If you know it's a fair game, like no one wants to play a rigged game, and Minecraft is not a rigged game. <laughs> I mean, it's rigged. I'm sure you could argue it's rigged in some sense of the word. But uh, people don't like to play rigged games. That's true. But um, when you know the odds are fair, it's more fun to play through the odds than anything else. Also, finally, more suspicious blocks. Let's go for it. <gasps> okay, that's a wooden hoe, right? No, what is that? Black dye? Beetroot seeds. Oh, yeah, chat. We can make some beetroot. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> <sighs> like gambling is great. Nobody ever loses. Come to my casino. Exactly. Gambling is great. Nobody ever loses. You ever seen anyone lose at gambling? I bet they didn't exist for long after that. Therefore, it's good. Chat, what do you think about an archaeology only run of Minecraft? That's my that's my idea I had today. I was eating past I I had pasta. So they I have you ever had this? They take a wheel of pasta like oh they take a wheel of cheese this big and then they cook pasta inside the wheel. It makes it extra cheesy, apparently. It actually was very good. They, they made it fresh there, it was great. But I'll, while I was eating, oh, I think I heard the bad noise. Um, while I was eating my pasta in the weird form factor, also, what is it? <gasps> okay, please be the last one. I genuinely don't know the names. I'm hoping I learn at some point. I'm gonna go up right now and I'm gonna check though. Did I get? Okay, so this is the razor. I, I think I have razor already. I don't know how this works in Bedrock, but try laying suspicious ground that's ever fall into a cobweb, and does it drop as an item after a few seconds? I actually tried that, Harrison. Uh, funnily enough, if you'd believe it. Because um, I figured that'd be a fun enough fact, like... Uh, I figured people would want to know if that was true. Um, but weirdly enough, it does not. Sadly enough, it does not, maybe. So we'll put some dirt over, like... Here and over here, and then we just jump up the whole thing. A little bit awkward to get in and out. Did it work? It didn't. I I think there was a bug where it worked before 1.20 or something like that. But yeah, it, I I thought it was a fun idea. I thought it was a great idea. How did you even get down there? But apparently the game disagreed. I've had uh, my one trail run so far has had three of the four trims. I apparently, you know, my my first my first one must have been unlucky, clearly. Okay, so we have three copies of Tracer now. Okay, so I I've got Razor, I've got Shaper, I've got Wayfinder. I'm missing neither of those three. If we can remember that, I'm not going to. Uh, and now we'll go back to this chest and we'll put some more junk in there. You need you need to have junk chests. That is a requirement if you want to go archaeology. Um. So in the junk chest you go, in the junk chest we go, and we filled it up, but that's fine. This this flint will be useful one day, I swear. Um, I got ward 13 times before getting silent. Isn't it funny? I I'm the only, I I I, gen, I swear I must be the luckiest person out there. Um, in getting, in managing to get, like silence before I got ward. I think I got silence and ward twice that stream, right? Like, what the... And then and then there's some people just out there, like, grinding away hours and hours and hours. Which I... I that's why I think it's a... That's why I think it's beautiful. The ran, randomness can really help us for you. And I'm so used to being on the wrong side that when it finally goes the right way, I'm just like, hey, that's what I like to see. Um, and, uh, yeah, that's... That's... I... 
I, I know, I know, to, like, I guess today I spent a while looking for a trail ruins. I went through a lot of eligible biomes, didn't find anything. Um, but, you know, it's, it's okay. I, I think, maybe I missed some. Honestly, I'm starting to think, like, if I go 5,000 blocks to find a trail ruins, maybe there was one closer than 5,000 blocks I just didn't find. But yeah, this is a big structure. There's still hope for me to get that last trim. It's not Razor and it's not Wayfinder. It's one of the other two. I, it's not Shaper either, I don't want to say. What is this over here? Big Water Cave. Big Water Cave is bad for me unless there happens to be some Suspicious Gravel on the outside. I feel like Suspicious Gravel probably doesn't generate to the outside of the structure. It's a nice idea, but a bad reality. And over here, we're just going to confirm, is this just dirt into nothing? Looks like it's just dirt into a dirt part patch. Um, I still need to go get an elytra before I try for the ancient city. I recommend the first thing you do in the end, once you defeat the dragon, is get the elytra. Honestly, I recommend the first thing you do in the end before anything else is get the elytra. It's, it's a really, really handy pro tip. Also, look at this. I'm about to get a clay block. Oh yeah, clay block. Ooh. Is it 1.6 beta time again? Because I'm excited for some clay. No, this would, if, if they'd have had, if they hadn't ever fixed that bug for clay rarity, would be, be so much better right now. Okay, so what we got around here, not too much. What we got over here, some suspicious blocks. Okay, so we got one at least. Are we going to get a second one around here? I had such a lovely patch. I had so many together. I just might, I can never live up to that now. Except maybe, oh, second disc. Two relics in the same place. Oh my god. What what do I even do about that? Okay, so now we just need to get our way out. And you know, actually, there's still hope. I don't know where the hope is. It's rapidly running out, but there still could be some extra rooms in here. I just want that I would really like that last armor trim. You know, having three copies of one is wonderful, don't get me wrong. Saves me some diamonds. But, um, if I could just do a little bit better, that'd be nice. Up here, maybe? We see in a secret room. Is this a room? It looks like something like that. Uh, but it's not. It's just, it just exists. That's okay, I guess. That's okay. Um, a little odd, but that's, you know, I really should start taking these looms with me. I don't know what I would want a loom for. But I like the idea of building out of them, maybe. Relic should be a disc fragment, but it should be more common. No, no more disc fragments. I am, there is one disc which I will accept in fragments. Everything else, you gotta give it to me whole. I don't wanna not be able to play the music disc because I only have some parts of it. Sounds terrible. Petition to pay Relic a good fortune. You know, if we found a diamond in here, I do that, but we, we, I just, I literally don't have access to one. That's why we have to go all the way back home to listen to it. But, um, yeah, two, two relics. Pretty decent. Aaron Shiroff. Nice job. Remember CD cleaners? <laughs> it's called a CD drive. You put it in and then it comes out clean. That's the, that's how it works. And I'm not going to have it any other way. So these blocks definitely don't lead anywhere. Yep. Just to confirm. Very much. Do not. And then what we got over here? We got ourselves. Ah, oh, okay. That's that's fine. That's fine. So this is just about complete. Yeah, I don't I don't see okay, back here, just in case. You never know. There is some there's some blocks over here, and there's some suspiciousness. Yeah. Oh, there's a whole whole wall over here, apparently. Two suspicious blocks just hiding in a corner there. And then it goes deeper. Yes. Okay, more chances for the trim chat. Manifest it. New trim, please. New trim. Oh, wait, I've got arrows for my bow. That's fun. Very fun. Just leave those in the corner over here. Manifest the trim. And the trim shall appear to us. Oh, that's not a trim. That's a green candle. Oh, yeah. Two green candles. One trail ruins. Oh, what the heck? Okay, that's my over-the-top YouTuber reaction. Hope you like it. Although, wait, wait. 
two emeralds. Respectable. You know, I, emeralds, uh, they have very little value by themselves. But I can at least be like, well, if I get enough of those together, maybe they get some, some later value. Um, and then, yeah, you know, okay, this room, this room has legs. I mean, it has gravel, which is a type of legs, as far as we're concerned. Okay, new time. Let's do this. Aaron, hype yourself up. We're gonna get the new. Tr we're gonna get the new trim. Yes, we are. Let's go. Brush it, and oh yeah, that's. It's like a pink new trim. That's what it is. It's definitely not a shard of glass. Okay. Um. Okay. So we got a big pile of gravel here. This has to be. This has to mean something. One suspicious gravel? Yes, like to see it. More than one suspicious gravel? Maybe, just maybe. So nothing up here. Nothing over here. Nothing over there. Nothing over there. Easy. Nothing over here. Nothing over here. Is there anything over here? No. <laughs> okay, we, we've, we've, had our, we've had our moments. But I think we have one more suspicious gravel for the entire thing. Right now, that's what it's looking like. Okay, one, two, three, four. Yeah, I think I think we've uh, maybe just maybe we've 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 ran out of the suspiciousness. All the suspiciousness has left the building. Besides one block chat, one more opportunity. I hope I'm wrong. I want to be. I want there to be more than just the one. No, no okay. If this this is an official part of the structure, which means just over here somewhere, it's going to appear. I don't know where. I'm a bit confused by the very shape of this. Okay, no. One one last try. Let's let's go for it, chat. I no, yeah, we don't we're not gonna go until we're short. I, if I found another one, I'd be very pleased myself. But right now, my odds don't look great. Also, I've gotta be really careful about these two ones. You never know when you're just gonna lose a block that you're not expecting. Is this just the edge from another corner? I don't I don't know how this this structure works in confusing ways. Okay, we finally we got a second suspicious gravel. Two chances at the new trim. It's not great. Even if it is the right type of gravel, it's you know like one in twelve. But it's almost certainly not the right type of gravel, so a little bit lower. But at least we have two one in twelve chances, chat. Two one in twelve chances is better than one. As anyone who has gambled will tell you, you're always just about to get your next big win. Just don't stop gambling, and then all your problems go away. Trust me, this is definitely how gambling works. Every gambler will give you this solid advice, and you can really apply it to your life, and it'll go really, really well for you. But let's go for it. What's inside? Oh, it's a blue die. I am basically not finding suspicious gravel if I find that. Okay, so over here. Um, I'm hyped. I'm pumped. I'm ready. What's in here? No, nothing for me. Just a lot of food. A lot of you know, a lot of gravel. A lot of flint. A lot of, a lot of chances. They're just not converting. Oh wait, there we go. Oh, trim, 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 trim. It's one more trim I need, chat. I've got three copies of one. I've got one copy of each of the others. But I, if I want to have a full set. To even duplicate, because I can always duplicate the rest once I have one of each. Like I want to get as I want to get all four naturally if I can. But for some of them, we're not going to be able to. Toy Cat is yes. Thank you, bruh. Appreciate it a lot. You know, I'd like to believe you're quite yes yourself. Um, but yeah, thank you, thank you, Mr. Bruh. I hope you're doing wonderfully. Um, you know, I I'm always confused when people have usernames like bruh. Like just on a more serious level here, like uh, you know, I, you, let's let's do name rating again. That's back where that's where we are. We've gone back to 2017 chat. You know, if your name's just your real life name, that's fine. That's just you being a transparent individual. Totally fine. If your name is like a meme, it's like why is that? What is the meaning? Also, look at this. There's a whole part of the structure underwater, which means we're gonna do some underwater archaeology now, right? If we don't, that's that's so weird. Why not? Why is there no? Why is none of this suspicious? Why can't it be suspicious underwater? Um, mine is actually not my real life name. Mine is a dead meme. Says Ohio Master. Oh, the Ohio meme was never alive. I really, 
My my eleven year old brother, just like he would add the word Ohio at the end of every sentence to be funny. Eleven. I don't know. He looks he looks like a child actually. I he might be like fifteen or like seven. He's in that age group. This is the problem about getting old. You stop being good at spotting people who are like you can. You can tell people older than you how old they are roughly, like within a decade. But like, you know, do you ever, okay, do you ever have this experience at school? Where like you were a school year, like, you know, like you were year one at one point, or grade one, if we insist on Americanizing. Um, but you were a school year at one point, and then you're like, wow, look how normal we all look. And then when you look back, when you're in year four or whatever, you're like, look how young they are. They look like actual children. You have Razor twice. I have Razor Frice to Second Life, if you'll believe it. So yeah, we're not we're not finding anything this way. Sadly. It's crazy how much gravel there is out there. And none of it has any value to me. But you know, such is life. Look at that Java crawling. Yeah, that's a, that's actually the swimming in a it's kind of the accidental version of Java crawling. This has existed for a while. But being able to do it with Actual and actually look like crawling is where it's changed. I think because if you look right now, I'm just swimming uh, I guess I'm actually like if I go into here. Oh Well, that wasn't what I was expecting at all <laughs> Okay, so let's get out there um, Oh god, I'm so lost so lost and confused um, Yeah, I uh, I Think looking around here I'm not gonna get anything of back from this I think we can pretend I am. Okay, so none of this is anything good. Is anything good down here? Anything suspicious? You seeing it, chat? I'm not seeing it. So yeah, here's a tip. If you start brushing sus gravel and realize it's not an item you want, then uh, just break the gravel. Also, toy cat spelt backwards is toy cat. It's true, bruh. If you'll believe it. Tak ya, tak yoits. You know, the number of people who have called me Toyota over the years, because they're phone keyboards. You know, okay, if you, when you call me Toyota, I know that you'd spelt Toy Cat so wrong that your phone is like, you must be talking about a brand of vehicle. That is the only explanation for this series of characters. Which, you know, I'm just saying. Pro tip. I think Tomcat's the other one I get when people are a little lost and confused. A little dazed and confused, maybe. Um, so pro tip. If you, if, you ever want, if you ever want someone to be impressed, you gotta spell. Spelling is like the bare minimum, you know? It's not a high standard to attain, but it is a standard that people tend to keep. <laughs> you know, weird people. See, I think we've gone for a whole second Trail Ruins now, chat. Toucan is also common. Oh yeah, IBX Toucan. Hello, I'm IBX Toucan, and welcome back to another live stream on the internet. That's that's what I like to say. So I need to get out of here. You know, I, I want to believe- No, wait, wait, the suspicious scramble from earlier. I forgot about it. I can't believe I forgot about it, chat, but I actually just did. It's a very silly mistake to make. I was saving it. It's my last opportunity in this whole structure. Wait, actually, there's got to be some more somewhere, right? Like, surely, like, okay, this is going somewhere, right? Maybe? No. We have one more opportunity in this entire structure to get myself the trail ruins. Uh, to get myself the trail ruin trim. Can we do it? Okay. Oh no, that's an emerald. I mean, it's nice to find an emerald, I guess. I'll take it. I don't know that that's so important, but it's fine, I guess. Um, does Silk Touch work on sus? No. I would show you, but I've shown you a couple of times the stream by accident. Um, the reason why is because. Honestly, what is- I don't think there's a good reason why besides otherwise people just take all the- Like, it's to stop you just brushing it all with your shovel first and then later sorting it out, I guess. It doesn't necessarily- that doesn't necessarily make perfect sense to me. I don't- I don't know if I love that. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna go to sleep because it's night time. Also, there's magma around the ruined portal, so extra reasons to like them. Torch break sus, also a no. Yeah, there's no way to break it besides the legitimate ways, I guess we could say. So we got a bunch of coarse dirt. Um, I'm not going to take the flint. I don't... I think one whole row of flint is already probably too much of my inventory to dedicate. And then we'll take a whole extra stack of dirt. 
So this box is coming with me back to my end. I'm gonna work on my my Cherry Grove Dodecahedron biome fairly soon. It's a big thing I've got to do, I know. Um, and then this is my to be sorted pile. They're important things that I have found. Is yellow glazed terracotta important? Maybe. Two grindstones? Actually quite important, I'd say. So here's my loot so far today. I got five separate pottery shards, two relic discs, and five trims, but of three separate types, meaning I'm still missing one. And I'm gonna need to come to a lot more of these later. Um, it does show something that like, finding one of these and actually digging one through takes some serious time. Yeah, I, you know, the fact that isn't it crazy, it, today's stream took longer than my entire speed run to get every single trim. Because, you know, random seed versus not, obviously. But still, that's incredibly interesting to see. So I'm going to quickly get myself some obsidian. This is how I like to do it. I come out to a place like this. And I'm just going to place a water bucket, but not like too much of a water bucket, you know? Just a few blocks here and there. And then we break down and pray there's not lava. Okay, we're great. Oh no, 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 there is lava. Okay, okay. Save myself. A little bit, a little bit precariously, but we're good. Whew. What does he mean uh, by 64? 64 of all types. Um, no, what I mean by 64 is I want uh, 64 trims total. I need six, there's 16 trims and I need four copies of each. Um, if, in case you're curious. So if we place the water on the lava, we get the lava itself. We place it next to the lava. Yeah, okay, that's better. Okay, so we, just, we don't need that much obsidian, honestly. Yeah, we'll just we'll just get a few of these. Enough to finish the portal as it exists in the world. Six obsidian, probably enough. So I forgot, I, I have no idea where we were just at. It was somewhere in this birch forest, probably that way. Maybe a hundred blocks or so. No, this doesn't look familiar. Okay, chat, I'm lost. Help me find, okay, there we go, I'm back. You've you inspired some projects in my own survival world. Here's your reward. Thank you so much, creative name. I was actually, uh, I was just recently working on like a... Uh, I, I, I like making videos that inspire people. It's, a, it's one of my favorite things to do. It's one of those like really cool things when I've achieved it. And so, um, yeah, I was actually... Um, I was actually just... So we're gonna pl place one of these down maybe. I was actually just um, working on like a, like a short version of one of those videos because I'm like playing around with YouTube shorts recently on this channel. Um, yeah, it's really, really cool that that, that inspired, that something on the channel inspired you. Thank you so much for the red. Like you can tell it's a big tip because it's in red in the YouTube chat here. Um, I, I appreciate it a lot. Tell, if, you, if you have a Twitter, if you have any way of showing me, show me something that's inspired me that you've done. I would really like seeing that. That is one of those things I love to see. Uh, if you can, obviously. So for now, let's uh, mark this one down. We're gonna use glazed terra. Actually, yeah, let's use all the weird stuff we got from the trail ruins to mark this out. Like this is the trail ruins place and you can tell because of the weird glazed terracotta everywhere. And then just to be extra sure, we'll place some yellow stained glass panes like there and there. Look, at look how beautiful it is, chat. And then a blue terracotta. Does it look like a trail ruins yet? Does it, have I got that signature look nailed down? Yeah, I think so. I think that's pretty good. And now we wanna head back home this way. If I find a new nether fortress, that'd be nice. I don't think I will though. I'm just flying a couple hundred blocks to get back to my, oh, basalt delta. This is one of the first ones I found in this world actually, funnily enough. I've been considering destroying a basalt delta for a while. Just get rid of it. No one likes them. So what if we didn't have one? Wouldn't that be nice? What if we put cherry grow? What if we put cherry trees in a basalt delta? That'd be a fun idea because it has those great, like it already has the gray effects anyway. So what if we covered it in um, cherry trees and uh, spore blossoms? I don't like that you have no totem. Where did my totem go? Chat. Where did my totem go? I had one at one point. Well, <laughs> when did I take it out? Um, well, that's concerning, huh? That's sus. Where did it go? I, well, you know, that's a problem. The PC crash popped your totem. 
you think it did? I I really don't know. The last time it happened when I was in a semi-serious situation, it was in the the end. So I would have, you know, I don't even know what's happening anymore. Let's be very careful. What we're we gotta we're very 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 precarious right now in terms of our placement, but we're fine. So yeah, I am. I just need to get back through here. Holding it ransom. That's okay, friend. Okay, so... I definitely have taken the wrong way back. I don't like... Oh, this is very... Okay, through here, maybe? Yeah, that's what we'll do. Uh, it's probably in one of your shulkers. Okay, so... Yeah, we'll check in there. I bet it ended up in there. Just don't die, you'll be fine. I mean, every, like, jump like this gets a little bit more dangerous. So I'm going to try and stay high. Um... And we're gonna try and... Okay, we're fine right now. I'm very much venturing across a never I don't know well. But that's okay. I think I should build, like, safer tunnels through my never. I think that's what I might start to do. Like, every every 100 blocks out. Yeah, I think, I think that's what you need to do with a world that's growing bigger. Like, have, like, a, a system where every 500 blocks, or every 100 blocks, or whatever number of blocks... You know for a fact, there is something safe for you. Consider this as a true test of your skills. Y'all watch the episode of Spongebob where the mailman says, If I weren't already on Comet Corral. That's funny. Okay, chat. So, I did I did say this would happen. Okay. So, as my reward for, you know, great skills in the, in the, in the archaeology game. You know what the reward is? You do know, don't you? You do know. Oh yeah, we get to wait. Is this this is the right place? We got a. Okay, so first of all, we had we haven't actually combined all the disc sh discs shards together, so I can make five as a music disc. I've got cat in here too. But anyway, let's um. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. If we do that, then we. Okay, we'll take out the copper ingots first. Put these away because they're clearly so important that I decided to save them. So in they go. Copper. Nice. Oh, I've got so much copper. Jesus. <laughs> and then, uh, let's grab out our two new discs that we got. So since 1.20, I have officially got my first copy of five. Or maybe I have another five, but I don't know where it is. Uh, but I also have a copy of Relic. Would you like to hear it? Because this cat would not like you to. So sorry, we can't listen to Relic today. The cat has decided otherwise. Thank you very much for watching today's live stream. I hope you all enjoyed. Thank you so much for the massive support today. Really appreciate it. The the absolute insane tip from Creative Name is something that really does add to my day. It is a huge show. Uh, I, I'll remember the name now, honestly. Uh, you're not Creative Name, actually, funny enough. <laughs> you know, you don't need to be creative. You just need to show me love. Um, but yeah, thank you very much for watching. And I'm just kidding. We'll, we'll play Relic. Listen to it. Let's go. Do, 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 do. Thank you very much for watching today. Thank you for coming along. Thank you for getting us. Oh, by the way, thank you for getting us um, slightly closer to our goal of 500 members. We got 10 while the stream crashed, so the number didn't go up. Um, the music to speedrun would not be a fun challenge in 2023. Oh, it might be actually. You'd have to do set seed now, though, right? Yeah, you'd have to do set seed. I guess all trims, all music discs. Hey, Ryan does stuff apparently. Did someone say tip train? Choo choo. Thank you for jumping aboard it. Thank you for the tip, Ryan does stuff apparently. You know, does anyone want the tip train to end? I guess the stream wouldn't be able to end if there was a tip train running. That would be a fact. It's true. 
You know, there's nothing nothing I could do about that. Wouldn't <laughs> This is uh This is my clever ploy to say if you appreciate the streams you want to support them. Uh, that is a great way you can do so. Um but yeah, I uh you know, I can organize this chest quite a bit, I think. Um I hope that you've enjoyed. Hey, you know, it, it is continuing. Um, I have to do something with these cat discs. I just have so many of them. I should hide them everywhere in the world. Oh, there's some in this... Okay, there's none in this chest yet. They can go in here. Just great. How wonderful. You know, if you want to join the tip train, it is continuing on. Starting with, by the way... Wow, is there is there a brand new one from Craig Campbell? 4 dollars Keep it up. Thank you, Craig. I will keep it up. Super sticker too. My YouTube representative is going to be so happy. I, um... Can you get custom super stickers? I have no idea why the super stickers exist in the form they do. Uh, but what I do know, um, is that... Whoa! Things have been going crazy. Um, thank you, Craig Campbell, for the super, super tip. Uh, super sticker. <laughs> you know, YouTube just wants me to promote stickers so people don't use Streamlabs, really. That's... I know the secret. Um... You know, Unholy Banana, thank you very much. Um, thank you for keeping the tip train uh, alive, my friend. I appreciate it greatly. Uh, I think I'm going to have to take these across the world, right? That's what we're going to have to do. So we'll take these. Take the pumpkins. Hey, Toy Cat Tax! Thank you for doing it via Streamlabs, Hannah Joys. Massive appreciation. Can tell, can tell you know what's going on. I like your aged bedroom. Oh, yeah, the bedroom is aged almost entirely now, huh? Wow, it's like, it's got one little bit of not fully aged. Also, thank you, Jay Clark. Hey. Um, also, thank you, Harrison Gray, uh, for 41 months of membership, as well as Robert King for seven months of membership. What a crazy number of months we've been building up for. Also, I'm going to put this skeleton skull somewhere. I'm just not really sure where. Is this is this the appropriate place? I guess it is. Aged bedroom. You know, I like to age my bedrooms. You know, you wouldn't get it, but you just get a better taste that way, if you know what I mean. You just get a much better taste when you age the bedroom. Also, we had some skulk that we should have moved over. So that's going to be great. I was in a house fire. I'm, uh, the, and you're subscribed. Thank you for letting me know. You know, clearly you weren't subscribed hard enough. Have you considered turning on notifications? That, uh, that has a great boost to your fire defenses. So thank you for the little tip train before the stream ended. That was, that was something I appreciate a lot. Um, again, I, I mentioned before... I think money is a great love language. That's what we use as a society. And I appreciate you using it on me. I will use it now uh, to do very good things. And by that, I mean, uh, whatever you can imagine the worst thing is I could do with your money. I'm probably doing that already. Times five now. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Thank you to everyone who became embered and tipped today. And I'm going to see you tomorrow for another live stream. I was going to do something. Um, I think my mother was going to come over because it's Father's Day. Um, but something. It's, I think it's raining tomorrow, so instead we'll be streaming. Yeah, the rain has worked out in your favor. Thank God I live in the UK and not one of those countries where it doesn't rain every third day. Anyway, thank you for watching. Hope you'll enjoy it, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye. Talk about tax. Okay, well, I guess the stream... I guess if the tip streamers can... I, I, <laughs> Trap Dawn, I already did my outro, but now we got we got Emily taxed. Thank you for the toy cat tax. The best value or the worst value tax you'll ever pay in your life. Isn't that beautiful? Thank you so much, Emily. L love to see... You know, I mentioned this before. Emily's are just more generous people. Our streams have proved that. And you're proving that right now. Also, cast paws. Yeehaw! Yeehaw, everybody. Hope you enjoyed the live stream. I'm gonna do myself an accent until the inevitable ending in a few seconds. I guess I have to put my, my sand away in the chest. It would be silly of me not to do that. And then what I'm gonna do just to finish off is I'm gonna put my arrow away. No, my iron ore goes in the Oreo chest. Well, I have a lot of Oz in here. I should make something beautiful, I reckon. Anyway, thank you. <laughs> thank you very much for watching. Thank you for the tip train here at the end. Appreciate you appreciating me. And I'll see you in the next one with Glee. And yeah, see you tomorrow. Uh, I'm gonna probably be doing Either Ocean Monuments or End Cities. I'm going to be raiding a lot of those tomorrow. It'll be fun. See you there. So we have to go to the other side of my world with this box. But you don't need to.